YouTube and TikTok right now to see if this audio problem is fixed. Hunter Thorson, Gavin Cano, King Seat Match, Bracket D. Let's run through some brackets. Adam Hisner, Logan Dupler, King Seat Match for Bracket A. That will be next. Levi Haddock takes down Hayden Gonzalez and is into the king seat of bracket B. Alex Rawls, Logan Chamberlain will be in the king seat for bracket C. And this is bracket D. Welcome back in to those watching. We had to reset our everything. We turned off the computer, we ended the stream, we shut everything down. And now we are back and Kevin Park says it's much better. Let's go. These are the first live bags of the game. Gavin Kana with honors. First we've had a chance, first I've had a, a chance to see Hunter Thorson really all year. Flowing the, throwing these fly bags. He is a rookie ACL pro. I have had the opportunity of playing against Hunter Thorson. I played against him at the, uh, the pro qualifier at the World Championships. Corey, you know who won that match at the pro qualifier at the World Championships? I did. I beat Hunter Thorson in the pro qualifier. The only difference is I was his only loss. So he went 7-1 and one and became a pro because of it. And I lost two other games. And I am not a pro now. So he ended up getting the better end of the deal in the end. But I can still say I beat him. Representing Minnesota. Gavin Cano picks up two points, an early 2-0 lead. Did Devin win last game? No. Okay. Alex easily, well, not wouldn't say easily, but Alex took him down 21-7. Beautiful. Can I, uh, recording, all right, good, recording, here we go, we're good to go. Okay. I know, I know, I know, I don't know how the buttons work, Corey, I know how the buttons work, go take care of your business. Is this the same bracket with Adam Hissner? No. Four open singles brackets. This is bracket D. Levi Haddock has already won his game. He is in the king seat. Hunter Thorson comes up a bit short there. A 6-0 start for Gavin Cano. Yeah, like we said, like well, like I said earlier, uh, bracket A, king seat game coming up next. Logan Dupler, Adam Hissner. Bracket B has already been won, the king seat match at least, by Levi Haddock. Bracket C will be Logan Chamberlain versus Alex Rawls. And this is bracket D. Gavin goes airmail. That's aggressive. Missed it short. Hunter can sneak in here for two. And he does. Hunter Thorson on the board. Six two game. Let us know who you're rooting for in the comments. There's a lot of Gavin Cano fans out there, but I know there's also a lot of Hunter Thorson faithful up in the up in the north. Mr. Eric Zockline, how you doing? All right. Hey, good to see you, Easy. Tell Andrew I said, hey, you guys take it easy. All right. Be safe.
Forgot I gotta press buttons now that Corey's gone. 6-4 game. If anybody here is watching from the venue and wants to come commentate with me while Corey's gone, come on over. Just kidding. Hunter, oh no, he throws it off the back. And he can do nothing but smile. Oh, but Gavin side rails it. Whoa, what's going on here? All right, Hunter, hello. this time he is able to do what he wanted to do. Ugh. Fun stuff, Jake, fun stuff. Hunter hard at a nice finish. And he's going to take one, nine on eight. Corey's been hard at work the past 15 minutes trying to <laughs> figure everything out so everybody give a big shout out to Corey Russell for apologies figuring it out yeah apologies everybody for what happened I still don't really know what was a problem do you yeah no I need to look back at that and figure it out because yeah that was strange to me I was trying everything but you know a good old hard reset we'll just have to do it was it I wasn't paying attention sorry Corey came back and don't listen to me don't listen to me guys it's eight to six <laughs> don't listen to me Yeah, Crave Cornhole, give the commentator a beer. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, Crave. Shout out Crave Cornhole down in Concord, North Carolina. North. Kakalaka, I like to say. You know how I was talking about those North Dakotians because uh, we had uh, Connor on the court here, I'm pretty sure his yeah. name was? Uh, this is the guy I was talking about, Hunter Thorson. He's from Minnesota, though. Yeah, but I saw him. In, oh, okay. That's okay. where I met him in North Dakota. Yeah. At the tournament, I was up there. Did I tell you the story about me playing him in the pro qualifier? I heard about it. Oh, I man, just I, was, I chose to ignore. I was hoping I could say tell you again, but it is what it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jake, a humble man, Jake is. <laughs> Look, I'm only saying it because he's in a much better spot than I uh, than than I would be right now. He's a pro. I like, I'm happy for him because of it. I like where you're at, Jake. I like where I'm at, too. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. I like being here with Jake. Jake's our, our favorite announcer here at the ACL, right, everyone? He's mine for sure. <laughs> hey, thanks. Don't let Wally or Trey or Jeff hear that, or Bernie, or uh, Michelle. Ho hopefully they're listening. You hear that, everyone? Do better. Be like Jake. Man, those fly bags are clean. They do look cool. They do look cool. I, I I held one during the break, and they are very floppy. I don't know how he's throwing them. <laughs> Michelle Thompson in the chat. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rylan and TikTok asked if they can have a shout-out. Absolutely not, Rylan. Nope, we don't do shout-outs. Sorry, Rylan. It's kind of sad that this is the last day, man. I could do four more days of this. I know, right? I've been treating my voice well, drinking yeah. tea every morning, so yeah. Now I have to go home tomorrow and go back to reality. Boo. Oh, yeah, shout out to Daniel for getting these drinks. I didn't get yeah, to say right? thanks to him when he uh, dropped by. Yeah, you just ignored him. I, I mess, totally messed did. Up. <laughs> but Let's see what Hunter does. Can he cut around? No, almost knocks Gavin's bag in. How nice of him. He gets you an energy drink, and he knows I don't drink energy drinks, so he gets me a tea. Yeah. What a good guy. And, and, and really, honest to God, this is the only time I'll ever drink energy drinks when like, I'm broadcasting and I need to be energized. Uh, okay. So I'm not monotone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you saw this, Corey, but the ACL just announced a new officiating program. Like, literally during this stream, the post came out. Oh, really? They're announcing a new officiating program that will allow people who come to tournaments to officiate games. 
Oh, that's amazing. Like, so everybody, so everybody in the Facebook chat can stop complaining about there's not being officials on the courts. <laughs> so them complainers can go get uh, certified to be an official. Yep. You want to complain about there not being officials? Boom, go get certified, and go. we will see you at the open. Can I get certified? Maybe I don't know. I haven't read it. Okay. I will look into it. I would love to be an official. I'll call everybody out. <laughs> I just want to be able to hold a flag like Michael did at the, on the broadcast in Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. Nice push through. That's a double four-bagger wash. Red flags included. I'm joking. I don't think you get a flag. You get a whistle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, throw, throw ACL branding on there and boom. Oh, yeah. Do I get paid? I'm not sure. You're going to you're gonna have to go to... The ACL social media page and check it out. Oh, God, Stephanie, please no. <laughs> <laughs> parents yelling at umpires. That's funny. I mean, shout out. you got to give a shout out to Hunter Thorson. This is by far the best performance he's had at an Open so far since becoming an ACL pro. So glad to see him make the winner's final of his bracket. Uh, okay, you just said where they were. Did you say how we saw Gavin Cano uh, last night in the open doubles in the finals? No. Okay. He was there with Alec Ryan. Yeah. Ended up getting second. I'm sorry, you were muting yourself. Did you need to go do something? No, I'm good now. Okay. <laughs> you get paid per call. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I see Logan Chamberlain versus Alex Rawls has started on another court. It is currently 6 nothing in favor of Rawls. Hey, Nerdy Zach is in the chat. What's up? What's up? Welcome in. Gavin Kano representing Redo Apparel with the sweatpants and hat. I love the Redo logo. I think it's so sleek. Yeah, it's a, it's a good design. I would definitely wear Redo Apparel if I had some. Just uh, just throwing that out there on the airwaves. Okie dokie. Sounds good, Jake. <laughs> Still a 10-9 game. In favor of Gavin Cano. The question now would be if Gavin Cano were to at least win his bracket, would he then start to become in the conversation of the top 10? Because yes. he wasn't on any of the analysts' top 10s. I think it would have to be at that point. He should, yes. Here we go. Gavin looking at the Jumbotron to his left. Slick side down, gonna try to split the pile. It's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, he already has a bag in, Hunter does not. That moved a lot. I like a roll here. Either a roll or a back block. I think he tried to block, missed right. And that's going to force Hunter into a timeout. Missing that back block isn't the end of the world because now you kind of force Hunter's hand and he can go for a pretty crazy shot. Yeah. Oh. He's going to lay up. Decided Facts that one quick. What's Quinn, facts? where are you at, bro? Where are you at, man? Why aren't you here? Not used to not seeing Quinn Reeves at an open. I know, right? Twelve nine lead for Gavin. Can someone post brackets? You can check out the brackets on the ACL Fan Zone app or 
iPlayCornhole.com. Check them out there. Yeah, fans on out. Pretty convenient. The best question is, when will people start putting Adam Hissner in the top five or higher? He's going to have to win a singles event first. I would put him in the top 20. I wouldn't put him in, definitely not in the top five. Maybe not even top 10 yet. He doesn't have, he, it's been too long since he's had a signature singles win. He uh, made it to the finals in singles. Wow. Eight. Great airmail drag. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but that was an incredible airmail drag by Hunter Thorson. No, I stopped. I knew. Yeah. Gets them all. Huge Beautifully shot. done. But, um, no, uh, what were you saying? Uh, Adam Hisner in Memphis, Tennessee, he made it to the finals of singles. That is true, but did not get over that hump and get the dub. I want to see a uh, title. I want to see a singles title for Adam Hisner. Yeah. Something that we have not seen in a long time. Jamie Graham is one of the goats of Cornhole right now. I have no comment. I mean, it's so hard. The talent is so good. And then you got people like Jamie Graham who don't travel to Opens as often as everybody else does. So he kind of gets forgotten about. And then he just comes through and smokes everybody at the World Championships like he did last year. Social. And he was at the, uh, the Carolina Conference a few weeks ago and averaged an 11, just steamrolled over everybody. What? <laughs> Gavin is top five. So, uh, I mean, I can see it. I mean, you got to think who else is in the top five right now. You have to put Mark Richards. I yeah. would put Jeremiah Ellis up there in the top five. Yeah. I would think. Ryan Trader. Uh, Ryan Trader right now, yes. Mm hmm I mean, you have other players like um, JBJ. JBJ. I wouldn't put him in the top five yet. Not yet. He's in. He's top ten, not top five. Um, I, I mean, Tony Smith has got to be up there in the rankings as well. Alex Rawls. Al oh, of course, of course, Alex Rawls. How do you forget about him? Let's see if I can find um, find the power rankings. It's tough. It's real tough. Logan Dupler. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would put Jamie Graham in the top five. You would? Oh, without a doubt. Just because he doesn't go to a lot of the events doesn't mean he's not a top five player in the world. Mm. Come on. Because what happened last year, we all slept on Jamie Graham. And what does he do? He steamrolls everybody and wins world singles. I'll just say we'll see. We'll see. Because, I mean, then you have other players. What about Kyle Malone? You haven't heard a peep from him this year. Nah. You're crazy. I mean, You're I, crazy. I didn't mean nah, like no. Oh, I meant okay, like okay. now. Nah, yeah, we haven't heard from him. Like, no, we haven't. Yeah. You're right about that one. I'm not trying to sound biased. I'm not trying to sound biased either. I know. wouldn't. I don't know, man. We got opinions, and it's fun. I probably if okay if I had to if I had to actually sit down and make a top five I'm doing Mark Richards, Ryan Trader, Alex Rawls, Tony Smith, and then I mean you could interchange seven people for that number five. Yeah, that, that you really could. That number five is hard. You could put Jamie. You could put Gavin. You could put Justin Burton Jr. You could put Logan Chamberlain. You could put Caleb Batson. tough. It's tough out the there. The problem is I'm going to get smoked by the Ellies in this chat if I keep this <laughs> not talking about Jeremiah Ellis. I'm going to get smoked. You will. Ooh, that bag just stays up. Oh, Kyle, Kyle Malone's in the chat. I'll be ready. Let's go, Let's baby. Go. I mean, you got uh, we forgot. We haven't even mentioned Devin Harbaugh either. Oh, yeah, you're right. Windsor, Windsor's been doing good. He hasn't been, he hasn't performed that well this weekend. So, I mean, he was uh, he's another name that you can. Yep, JT, push. Ryan Windsor, 
Yeah. Alec Ryan's been playing really good. I mean, it, 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 the comments just go to, and we haven't even mentioned either of the cores. The comments just go to show how difficult it is to pinpoint a top five. Mm -hmm. And until that first national in April, you can't. Yeah. Noah Almanza, who's been playing really good. Yeah. Oh, that roll sits on the back lip of the hole by Hunter Thorson. Gavin goes slick side. He tried to, tried to clog the hole, missed way right. So uh oh. You, this is a productive chat we're having with chat. Yeah. I like it. It's fun. Gavin cuts it in. Does he go air mail or does he slide? We're looking at a 9-3. He's got to get something in. He's going up, and he hits him all. Oh, what a bag. Hunter Thorson with a big-time drag. The second big-time drag of the game. Oh, yeah. Hunter Thorson saying, stop talking to the chat and pay attention to me. <laughs> Three-bag drag to steal a point, and it's a one-point game. Man, you're right. Matt Guy has been playing real well we this year, too. We didn't even bring him up. <laughs> we forgot about him. That's how crazy it is. And any of the females, too, you know? I mean, with the pregnancies with Cameron and Cheyenne, we haven't really seen I, them I'm, play. I'm interested to see how they perform when they come back. But Bella, we got El Elizabeth Tennyson, Sam Finley, Rosie Streaker is back here playing. Like, watch out for all of them. Too much. Talent pool's too deep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got other women like Ryan Hart. Do you know what I thought would be a fun experiment? I saw that an eSports teams did it for Rocket League, how the they had the teams make their own top ten. I like it. So what if we did that with our players? I like it. Send out a form, be like, all right, players, who's your top ten right now? And then we'll take all the stats and put them together, you know? That would be nice. That would be cool. Ooh, a little off to the right for Hunter. He immediately steps out, but so does Gavin. Can he push this out of the way? Perfect. That is perfect. And a perfect back block by Hunter. See what Gavin does here. He's going to go airmail and knocks in one of each. Somehow that Wizard L stays on the board for the wash. That is a really good comparison, like the uh, talking about the PGA. On any given weekend, there's a dozen, if not more, who have the potential to win the entire thing. Yeah, that is, I was going to say that too. Like, you know, and that's what makes it fun because it's like, you never know who's going to win. Yeah. Who's going to come out and show out that day. Zach Scheibner in the chat thinking he's up there, but I feel like you need to be able to throw a flat bag. I only I only give credit to people who can throw flat bags. <laughs> we forgot about Ethan Walker in the chat, too. Ethan Walker's literally swept and open. <laughs> oh, man. It's too hard. Like, it is. I would rather solve Newton's law or something into some weird equation. <laughs> I'd rather solve string theory before I decide to figure out a top 10 cornhole players. Do we have a lead change here, Corey? All right. Somebody rolled Jake a chalkboard over here. <laughs> I'll uh, goodwill hunting that real quick. <laughs> Don't forget, coming up next, the bracket C. Nope, this is bracket C. Nope, this is bracket D. Never mind. The bracket A winner's bracket final, Justin Burton Jr. versus Logan. No, it's not. I'm, what am I doing here? You're too excited, man. It's Adam Hisner versus Logan Dupler. You're not going to want to miss that one. Whatever happened to Eric Davis? I don't even know. Four-bagger for Gavin. He's going to take the lead right back. Back and forth we go. 18-17. Favorite Sunday drink and snack. I'm always going to go with an orange crush. I had a big conversation about them in the stream last night. <laughs> I love me an orange crush. Oh, yeah. Um, and snack-wise, I don't know. I'm a big buffalo wing guy. Like a football Sunday, give me some wings. Oh, yeah. That does sound pretty good. That actually sounds 
quit talking about that, Jake, right now. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're barbecuing some wings in the Mesa, Arizona area, come on down to the Arizona Athletic Grounds and bring the wings to court number one. Back to the left, out of play by Hunter. Has to be in the hole, and it is. That's going to put Gavin on 20. Let's do a PPR check once he puts this in. Gavin throwing a 9-7-4. Hunter a 9-6-1. Round 24. This game's been going for a while. Nobody's budging here. Gavin, how long has been Gavin been sitting on 20? He just got there. Oh, he just like got there. Like 30 okay. seconds ago. <laughs> He just scored two. Okay. That back off to the right, not necessarily out of play, but when Gavin does something like that, it makes it that much more difficult to grab. Hunter does a great job bringing that back. Gavin is in. Hunter's going to need to get this eventually. It's a little closer. He's going to have one more opportunity, assuming Gavin puts this in. He does not. Still has to get a bag in the hole. Going at it, and he gets them all and leaves Gavin's there. What a shot. How? That's <laughs> it even moved like a couple inches. Gavin Hunter Thorson has been hitting some incredible shots this game to stay in it. Yeah. It's 20 to 19. Coming down to the wire here. These are the fly nemesis. That's a little off to the right. Hunter has a bumper. Let's see if he can try to push this out of the way. Oh no, threw it too hard. And now Gavin slicks side down. He's gonna collect it, good bag. Hunter trying to think as he is running out of options. There is no way you can grab that bag. He's going, no, he went block, oh no. I think he went block, he side railed it and now you need something crazy. That is it, what a match. Gavin Cano takes down the king seat in bracket D. Great match there. Hunter Thorson's still in it, you know, he just has to work his way back up to the championship and oh, yeah. maybe find some revenge against Gavin Cano. All right, up next we got Adam Hisner and Logan Dupler. They have made their way to the court, so we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Quickest commercial break of all time, ladies and gentlemen. We are back, and they are ready to rock and roll. King seat match, bracket A, Logan Dupler, Adam Hissner. Let me know who you like in the comments. Who? Wow, great bag by Adam. Who you want to win, who you think's going to win. Nice cut around for Dupler, a 10-10 watch to start things off. 
brackets are moving on very quickly. Let's start with bracket A. Obviously, this is the king seat match. Justin Burton Jr. and Trevor Kufis tied 18 to 18. Winner of that match gets the loser of this match. Bracket B, Hayden Gonzalez is down 19 to 12 to Caleb Batson. The winner of that will try to double dip Levi Haddock. Bracket C is a little further behind. Devin Harbaugh up 13-10 on Fisher Hamilton. Winner of that gets Derek Holland. Winner of that gets Logan Chamberlain. And the winner of that will try to double dip Alex Rawls. And finally in bracket D. Austin Waskow up 19-16 on Matt Allen. Winner of that gets Eddie Grindersleeve. Winner of that gets Hunter Thorsten. And the winner of that will try to double dip Gavin Cano. So that is everybody left in open singles. If I did not say somebody's name, they are out. Wow, okay, so we're getting down to the final few to decide who's gonna be singles, open singles, yep. number 10 champion. That's exciting. Adam Hissner looking for a signature singles win. Logan Dupler trying to bust a bracket. Dupler out of Southern Pennsylvania. Hisner from Ohio. So two Mid-East Conference players. I know Joe Harsh is watching. Oh yeah. Super duper, Logan, Logan Dupler. Not the greatest start for the kid so far. Down eight nothing and looking to be down a couple more. Oh no, make it 12 zip after just four rounds. Wow. Oh, are they trying to wave in the background? They're trying to start a wave. Yeah, they <laughs> see each other on the on the jumbotron. I like it. Let's go. All right, Logan Dupler finding the center here. Way to jinx it, Corey. Another four backer for Hisner. Make it fourteen nothing. Goodness. Are these the socks and sandals combo that you like, Jake? No. 11-2 <laughs> for Hisner, just an 8-4 for Dupler. That's not going to get it done. But Hisner with a miss, this could be an opportunity. Cannot take advantage. All right, so 14 to 0. Score remains. Whoa, whoa, Joe Harsh. You, you start with a compliment and then you end with that. What's going on? What's going on there, bro? Is Joe Harsh being harsh? Wow. Could be a big round. This could be a huge round. Give him four more. It's 18 nothing. Logan's gonna need to find something here. This is looking grim. This is not at all what I had anticipated. Yeah. Another bag off that back side. Hisner going up. It's the airmail. Dupler. Misses left. Hisner going slick side. A perfect replacement. Hisner lays up. Logan has to take all of these. And he gets two of them. It's only going to be two. All right, so he's on the board. Let's awesome to see the kid throwing against his great grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Love it. Uh oh. 
Good back block from Hisner. Logan's gonna be in trouble. An air mail off the back. A bag in the hole for the win. No, but now Logan's got to go backside, and he does. Okay. Staying in there. Logan Dupler needed it to stay in the game. Twenty to one. There goes the shutout. Back block here. Yep. Building the train. Here we go. Roll coming. No. Airmail coming. Yes. Airmail. No. And he knocks in a bag. All this has to be is on the board, and that is it. Woo! What is he? There it is. The boom. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Hissner is into the finals of bracket A in convincing fashion. It takes him just 10 rounds to beat the kid. Wow. Good run from Logan, but Hisner stays hot. Adam. Ah, he can't, he can't hear me. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial uh. break. <laughs> when we come back, that match took was so quick, I, I don't know what to bring you. I think we may be getting you the Bracket B Finals. We've already reached a Bracket Final. There we go. Caleb Batson is going to try to double dip Levi had it. Don't go away. All right, y'all, the time has come. It is time for our first bracket final of the afternoon. And what a game we have. We were just talking about the top five players in the world. Well, this man on your right is in contention. He's yes. still pro Caleb Batson going up against an amateur. How about Levi Haddock? He is sitting in the king seat, so KB will have to double dip him because he's hitting shots like that. Wow. I do not know much about Levi Haddock, but I do see a Texas State flag on his sleeve. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say he's from the state of Texas. That's probably why he's so good. That makes sense. He's, <laughs> you know, he goes to that uh, Chase Hunter School of Cornhole. Oh, he's yeah. getting... He's getting Learnt. Getting learnt. A 2-0 start for Levi. And how cool would it be bursting onto the scene and beating up Caleb Batson. KB throws a bag off the board. What up, Chris? Ty Thompson in the chat. What up, Ty? Let's see if Levi goes after this. Yep. Bang! Wow! Oh my goodness. I love it. This the kid is oozing confidence. And a three, another three. 5 0 start for Levi Haddock. Take a look at this. Made it look easy. 
Sheesh. Yes. Only one way to describe that. An early 5-0 start. What would it mean for this kid to take down Caleb Batson and win an open singles bracket? Probably a lot. That is a huge accomplishment. Let's take you through his path. He came in as the 33 seed in his bracket. Started off taking down Mando Tellis. Then he beat Colby Shearer, which is a good win. He beat Moses Azueta, which is a good win. He beat Chase Lester. Then he beat Ethan Farias. And then he beat Hayden Gonzalez to take down the king seat. And is now facing Caleb Batson. All right, I like it. KB throws a bag off the board, gives up another point. Let's take you through how Caleb Batson got here. If I can find him in the bracket, it'll make it a lot easier. I think he's on the right side. There he is. Caleb Batson started off beating Austin Raglan, then he beat Stacy Campbell, then lost to Adrian Brunson 24 to 10. Went to the loser's bracket where he went on a tear. Started off beating Hudson Lindsley 21 to 3. Then beat the baby goat Alex Hicks 21 17. Then Chase Lester 21 5. Then Jackson Remick, he skunked. Jackson Remick 21 nothing. Hits the airmail, does not drag. Then he skunked Adrian Brunson, the dude who put him in the loser's bracket 21 nothing. He beat Spencer Fabian R 21 to 3 and then beat Hayden Gonzalez 21 to 12 to make it back here. Wow, that's a, that's a run. KB taking a timeout after Levi misses a bag. An early 8-0 deficit. This is solely just to ice Levi Haddock. Yes. He just needs to calm down, slow the pace down a little bit. And push this bag out of the way. Beautiful. I mean, Levi has a really smooth throw, and it reminds me of, of a pro who throws just like it, and I cannot put my finger on it. Who throws like that? Um, it's going to bother me. You're right. Oh, my goodness. Chad, who throws similar to how Levi throws? What up, Mike Napier, Delaware Cornhole, best in the biz? It's so similar to, to a, a pro's throw, and it's bothering me. It's not, it's not Fisher. Fisher. It's not Fisher. <laughs> Mark Richards? Eh, kind of. Not yeah. really. It's close. Not really humans. Yeah. Richards is Richards is clothed. No, because because he has a step. I don't know. I don't know. There's a social. It could be a whole bunch of people. Isaac Hurt. Yeah, it's close. It kind of close to Isaac Hurt's throw. Everyone's saying all these people that don't step. No, yeah, it's not Alex. Not <laughs> Eddie. It's kind of, it's kind of, I think, is it Brevin Valdivia? He, similar to that, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I see that, a little bit of that. But, I mean, Valdivia doesn't really step either, though. That's no, thing. he doesn't. Uh, another social as that bag drips into the hole. Maybe. Brian Fitzsimmons. Sh shut up, Timothy Pitcher. <laughs> maybe he throws funny. like Levi Haddock. That's a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I don't know. Nonetheless, kid is en fuego right now. Wow, you just got called a bot. It's not Hunter Thorson. John Brandon. Angel, go go sit down, bud. 
Okay, Adam Dean Goldberry. Okay, he throws like Adam, or he throws like Dean Goldberry. Got it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you know Dean Goldberry. That's that, my that's my guy right there. That guy. Another social. Things are starting to calm back down a little bit. Levi throwing an 11-5. Caleb throwing a 10-7-5. 6-4 baggers through eight rounds for Haddock. We did see that amazing match uh, last year in Portland or Detroit or something. Uh, Jake Gore. Oh, I know. And Caleb Batson. Yep. Nuts. That was like 50 something rounds. Oh, Haddock cannot get that push through. Somebody wants to see the Tony Smith shot replay. You have it? I can get it. For those of you just joining, and we'll wait till the end of this round. For those of you just joining us, the first game of the day. Between Jake, uh, between Jake Trzinski and Tony Smith is a candidate for match of the year. Impressive shot after impressive shot, and it was culminated by this incredible three-bag push that Tony Smith had to hit to stay in the game. He threw a bag short, and he had to get the bag in his hand and the two bags on the board in the hole. We're taking it back, first match of the day. Stepping out, slick side down. Look at the facial expressions on everybody in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Shot of the day, shot of the tournament, and a possible shot of the year candidate from Tony Smith. Trzinski would end up going on to win that match, though, but it was an incredible game. Meanwhile, back here, KB has worked it all the way back to an 8-8 game. These guys throwing, throwing at an incredible pace. Yes. Social. KB throwing a 10-9-1. Want to take a guess as to what Levi is throwing? Oh, chat, help me out here. Loud. That was loud. <laughs> Ooh, KB with a rare open board miss. We'll see if Levi can take advantage, take the lead back. There you go, Darius. Thank you for helping me out, Darius. That's 7.6. Come on, give the man more credit than that. <laughs> nice. Levi is going to take the lead back, 10-8. I love TikTok chat. Holy bag throw. Yes. <laughs> I love bean bags. Levi misses his first bag to that right side. He's not going to chase it. Caleb Batson going to look to tie the game again. Uh-oh. Oh, that almost got collected. KB stepping out to try to grab it. He cannot. The round will end with a wash. KB not happy with that. You know, if he wasn't wearing an Atlanta Braves hat, he'd probably be able to finish. Yep, I was going to hit that button, too. Got him. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, Jake. They want to know if there's a uniform standard for these events. So for Opens, there are not. However, at the national events, the pros do have a set, uni not uniform, but they have a list on clothes that they are allowed to wear and they are not allowed to wear. Please come to the event at least wearing something. Yes. <laughs> yes. We don't want to see none of that. All 
All right, an ugly round right there will give KB a point. Ten nine. Staying close, what round are we in? 15. 15. Let's do a bracket update real quick. Justin Burton Jr. up 11 zip on Logan Dupler. Winner of that will try to double dip Adam Hisner. This is the finals of bracket B. Derek Holland getting ready to go up against Devin Harbaugh. Winner of that plays Logan Chamberlain. Winner of that will try to double dip Alex Rawls. Eddie Grindersleeve up 20 to 6 on Matt Allen. Winner of that will try to double dip. I'm trying, well, excuse me. We'll try to get to Hunter Thorson. Winner of that will try to double dip Gavin Cano. So we have one bracket already in the finals, one bracket in the losers' final, and then two brackets in the fourth place game. Oh, oh, backside airmail for Levi Haddock. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. Ends up getting two points, and that's why this kid is in the king seat. Mm-hmm. That was ridiculous. How, how have I never heard of this kid before? I know. Me either. I feel like I'd like to, you know, brag and say I'm pretty familiar with everybody in the world of Cornell, but I have never heard of this dude. No. Coming out of Texas and is nine points away from winning an open bracket. Impressive. Some stacked open brackets too. For real. Nice backside for KB. And a nice cut around from Haddock. That was disgusting. Oh, KB went for the airmail again, missed it way back. <laughs> cool, another child that I can't beat Cornell. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. they're here. 15-9. All right, so taking down KB. No easy task. Not at all. Six points away. Who do you think's going to take it, Jake? Who do I you mean, got your eyes on? In this match or the whole thing? The whole thing. Alex Rawls. Okay. Cannot be touched right now. Levi stepping out. I feel like you don't need to do that much to grab this. Put a little angle on it, but he missed it left, and now you're giving up four. And just like that, it is a two-point game. Levi Haddock, six points away from winning the bracket. Kayla Batson, eight points away from forcing a game two. I mean, but if this kid can win the bracket, I think it's going to be hard to top the debate on what is the best state in Cornhole. Yeah. The amount of pros that they have, and then you have your amateur players coming out and winning open brackets? Come on. God, what a bag. Double four-bagger wash. That's a good chat question. Let's get, let's get that pot stirring. There we go. If Levi Haddock wins the Open, <clears throat> does that solidify Texas as the best state in Cornhole? Let me get y'all's opinions. That is a pot stir right there. Oh, yeah. Cannot wait to see all the Florida natives and Kentucky <laughs> natives and North Carolina natives come out in this one. Let's go, baby. We have one that says no and one that says absolutely. Here we go. Jake, somebody said Southern Maryland. Shout out. Let's go, Ashton. Heck yeah. 
That's just like seeing California's up there, too. Trey Hunt, Alabama the best. Oh, yeah. A uh, nice cut around for four more. Levi Haddock, two points away from winning the bracket. He doesn't want two games. Can't let KB back into this. Definitely not the best state for NFL teams. You got that right. Wow, this guy has a giant wooden spoon over here in a giant pot, and he's just stirring it. Got to have some fun, man. <laughs> what, am I supposed to agree with everything Chad says? Heck no. Oh, never. Caleb Batson has to be perfect. Nice sneak in. Uh-oh. Caleb Batson in for two to put him on 15. And he gets it. All right. Can he put it away this round? No misses from KB. Oh, so that's going to be game time, and he's going to have to play a couple more matches to try to get back to the championship match. Well, no, this is it. This is the bracket final. You're right. Never mind. Yep. No, you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Caleb tried to push that out of the way. Not enough. Levi slick side down, brings it a little bit closer. This is where KB locks in, though. Mm -hmm. This is the round. Back against the wall. Oh, that's perfect. 10 on 5 as it sits. do here he's going hard at it oh, oh my gosh. gosh i thought they were jammed takes them all like it's nothing like a hot knife through butter <laughs> oh okay. wow it stays 15 to 9 i mean i was looking at that like he's going to give up four maybe five nope how about a double four bagger wash Full load wash. That was crazy. That's a question mark. Never mind. It's going to go. There it goes. <laughs> that, however, is a question mark. Levi is in. Ooh, it's I don't think that's going to go on a slide. No. I don't think that goes on a slide. What does KB do here? Is he going to go up? Yep, and oh. it's off the back. That's it. He doesn't even need to throw it. Levi Haddock takes down bracket B. How about that? Wow. Congrats to him. Great run from Caleb Batson, but it's the amateur from Texas taking down the first bracket winner here today. When we come back, we have another one. Actually, I don't know what's coming up next. We didn't have, we didn't figure that out yet. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a quick break. We may have a little bit of a wait. Well, but we'll we will be back. Yeah, we'll let you. We'll pop in and let you know if we're going to take an yep. extended break. So stay with us. Mm -hmm.
All right, y'all, not a long break at all. It is time. We are moving things over to bracket A. Justin Burton Jr. has come through the loser's bracket and will try to double dip Adam Hister. So we, we have the reigning doubles champ from yesterday and the reigning singles champ from San Diego doing battle. Let's take a look at how these players got here. Well, Adam Hisner came into this as the number 21 seed in the bracket. Started off by beating Bobby Pope, then beat Young Trin, then beat Candler Bag, then beat Julius Reyes Jr., then beat Justin Burton Jr. 21-10 to make it to the king seed game where he beat Logan Dupler. Justin Burton Jr. was the number 25 seed in the bracket. Beat Josh Hill, then beat Benjamin Frederick, then beat Jacob Trzinski, then beat Trevor Kufis before losing to Adam Hisner, putting him in the loser's bracket before Justin Burton Jr. beat Candler Bag, then Trevor Kufis again before beating Logan Dupler to make it back to the finals. Who you got in the chat? Are you rooting for a Adam Hisner boom? Or are you rooting for a JBJ double dip? A JBJ silence. Yes. Because that guy, I've never heard him talk, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth, trying to get him to say words. Yes. A 2-0 start for Justin Burton Jr. This is already one more point than he gave up to Logan Dupler in the King Seed game. Let's get around from Hisner. He will step out again. JBJ with utter confusion on his face. Yeah, oh, Adam misses right. Oh, Wetbag's going to go. Yeah. He tried to sneak in. It was moving as Adam threw it. You could see it just barely inching. For those of you just joining us, we are close to the end. We already have one bracket finalist. Levi Haddock has won his bracket. Defeating Caleb Batson. Devin Harbaugh up 11-8 on Derek Holland. Winner gets Logan Chamberlain. Winner gets Alex Rawls. And Eddie Grindersleeve is about to take on Hunter Thorson. Winner of that will try to double dip Gavin Cano. Adam, nice backside airmail. JBJ misses the push, but ends up working all right. Adam just, it was still moving. He's just throwing. He's in a rhythm. Social. Oh. Got it. <laughs> the best awkward knuckles yet. Yes. <laughs> just staring at him. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that was a long one. All right, got to love it. Yeah, Corey, you do need to be prepared. Four. There is a possibility that the final four is an all-Texas final four. We need to prepare ourselves for... DEFCON 1, if that were to happen. <laughs> nice backside airmail from Hisner. Oh, no. Chase is going to oh, rip Oh, God, us. if that happens, um, we're, we're cutting the stream. We're not showing you the final four. <laughs> nice backside airmail for the wash. We're blocking uh, Chase on all, yeah. so on all our messenger programs. Yeah, if Justin Burton Jr. double dips Adam Hisner, if Logan Chamberlain comes through and double dips Alex Rawls, and if Gavin Cano or Eddie Grindersleeve 
come through and win bracket D. Ah, Eddie Grendersley's still alive. <laughs> Somebody in the chat says, you, you'll need to block me as well if that happens. <laughs> we'll, we'll be ready. We'll be ready. We got a long way to go before that happens. Look, I said it from the start. My pick to win is Alex Rawls. So we will see. Wouldn't it be fitting? All these Texas players in the end, and a dude from Florida comes through and beats them all. There we go. It's, it keeps that Florida-Texas rivalry going. It does. I'd love to see it. Who's the best state, Florida or Texas? <laughs> yeah, we remember Kyle. <laughs> we definitely remember. Okay, Mikey. You better share the stream if that's the if that's the case. I've never been to Florida, Kyle, so I don't know. You've never been to Florida? Nope. Crazy. JBJ off the back. This could be a big opportunity for Hisner. Beautiful bag. Oh, we got some booms in the crowd. Oh, no, he did it again. Uh -oh. This is an eight. That's an eight. Wow. What on earth? A blow-up round from JBJ. <laughs> I like it. It's like a video game when you score high points like that, your beer just refills. Someone's <laughs> all Hisner's beer beer just auto refilled. Yep. It's like he got some health potion. <laughs> Open the chest. <laughs> That's too good. Nice collect from JBJ. Kissner working that bag back into the hole. Justin helps him out. Oh, low, uh, Adam gives it back. And that is a two spot. Did you just almost call him Logan? I did. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding down here at uh, open number eight. Eight, ten. Holy cannoli, where am I at? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, strap in. Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Strap in. I'm buckled. I'm buckled. He is buckled. Jake Man, another needs to miss. be buckled. He almost jumped out of his chair earlier. Bang! Backside for Hisner. JBJ pushes through. Ah, Adam missed the cut, and now... Justin can go in to wash out the round if Adam puts his bag in. Whoa, he's going up. Whoa, that was aggressive. <laughs> that was aggressive. Love, I like it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Who won Levi or KB? Levi. Devin Harbaugh up 19 to 8 on Derek Holland. Logan Chamberlain waiting for that one. Eddie Grindersleep up 17 zip on Hunter Thorson. So we could have our second all Texas bracket final if Eddie can hold on. Yes, this is bracket play. Kissner in with a 10. That's two more for JBJ, and we are tied at eight. That would be awesome to see JBJ take down uh, his second open singles in a row if he wins yeah. his bracket and wins it all. Trey Birchfield went back-to-back -back on the double side. Logan, dang, I did it again. Why? JBJ trying to go back-to-back <laughs> -back on the single side. Who did Logan Dupler lose to? Both of these. He lost the king seed game to Adam Hister, and then he lost in the third place game to Justin. Mm -hmm. 
be, be aggressive. Be aggressive. Kyle, you can definitely come down here, come to any open and be a cheerleader if you want. That's another two spot. JBJ retakes the lead 10 to 8. It is double elimination, but this right here is a bracket finals match. So Adam Hisner in the king seat. Logan. Now you got me doing it. Wow. I don't I don't know why. Justin Burton Jr. has to double dip Adam Hisner if he wants if JBJ wants to take the win. <laughs> I almost did it again. Words are hard. <laughs> it's been a long weekend, man. That's another leaked bag by Hisner. That's 12 in a row. Oh no. Twelve in a row by JBJ, and he scored eight points in those three rounds. Well, Adam Hisner just missing shots. There is a miss off to the right side by Justin. Let's see if Adam can get back into it. This is the sneak in for four. He, he can get that four back, and he will. Yeah, it's probably because it was his doubles partner, and then Logan was just standing or standing yeah, we right over there. Yeah, we were just watching him, and I was talking about him in the bracket. And know. then JBJ is throwing Logan Chamberlain BG bags, too. So it's just, it's all a cultivation of all of that. 10-3-1 <laughs> for JBJ, 10-1-5 for Hisner. Whoa, a side rail from Adam, and he needs to take a step off. It's a good third bag block. But he's still down a bag. JBJ tried to roll. Hisner going through it and takes them all. In for three. Whoa! Here we go. What was that? I don't know. Hisner with a side rail, and then JBJ with an open board slide off the back. It's just the board just sped up a ton. <laughs> hey, that just goes to show that anybody can play, anybody can win. You're out here at your local blind draw throwing bags off the back of the board. So is Justin Burton Jr. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, the, and the yay from <laughs> Adam afterwards was funny. <laughs> 12 for Adam. 12 for Justin. That's a social. Jake over here starting to call it early my crystal ball. I had to dust it off a little bit, but it's getting better. It's getting better. What's going on, everybody that is currently watching? I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Shout out to the sponsors for this weekend, Brotherhood Cornhole and Logic Cornhole. You guys are awesome. Make sure you check them out. Mm-hmm. Nice push through for JBJ. A nice collect from Adam. A 12 for Adam and another 12 for JBJ. That's back to back socials. Back to back. Hopefully you have your beverage of choice in hand, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, go out and take a sip.
How do I sign up? iPlayCornhole.com. Oh, yeah. Press the Join tab. Mm -hmm. Is this the King Seed game? No, this is the bracket final game. Adam in the King Seed. This is game one of the double dip. Ooh, perfect replacement from Hisner. See if JBJ goes roller airmail. He's going to actually go sit behind. Interesting. Adam going up. Misses it short. Seven on five as it sits. Justin looking back at the Jumbotron. Hmm. If he goes airmail, there's a possibility he's going to drag Adam yeah, back Yeah, he is too. going up, though, and he goes way off the back. That's a two spot for Hissner, and we are tied again. What was it? What does social mean, four bagger? Yes, it means uh, both players have made all four bags, and we have a social afterwards, and uh, we take a sip of our beverage in celebration. Yep. Celebration of good shooting. Ooh, Justin misses left. He was not happy with that one. A cut oh. shot from Adam. <laughs> Adam thought he missed that out of his hand. Uh -huh. That just wrapped around the hole. It's like a basketball wrapping around the rim. The toilet ball. Take a look at that. <laughs> just rode the rim, rode the red zone. 16 uh -oh. for, uh-oh, I beat us here. <laughs> 16 to 14 here. Adam Hisner has a lead of two points over Justin Burton Jr. going into round 19. All right, Adam wants to make it clap here, but JP. Hello? Okay. Sorry, <laughs> that, I pressed that was the wrong weird. button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Adam in for 10. JBJ in to tie the game up again. Count it 16 to 16. Justin Burton Jr. five points away from forcing a game two. Adam Hisner five points away from ending it all. He wants to make it do what? Oh, he's never heard of the make it clap. When you have an airmail on either, you have a bag on either side of the hole, you hit an airmail where they both fall and they end up hitting each other in midair. It's called making it clap. Yep, looks like the bags are clapping. JBJ pushes the pile. Ah, had a miss left. You needed to hit that back block. Slick side down for Justin. Ooh, they don't move. You have another opportunity at this back block. This time he hits it. I think Adam's bag is going to fall. It's moving. And, oh. oh, wow, what a bag. To get them all in a great... <laughs> Oh, I was going to do the uh, both of them back. Press the wrong button. That's okay. Take a look at this cut. Beautiful. It, 18 16 lead now for JBJ. First bag off to the left. Good back block. Here we go. Justin going up, backside, bang. Adam going push, misses right. Justin should be able to grab that white bag. He misses it that time. Adam with another back block. Here we go. What are we doing? Beautiful. That's perfect for JBJ. There's not much Adam can do here. Going hard at the pile. Yeah, they just jam up and gives up two more. That's going to put Justin on 20. All right. 
No more mistakes from Adam. Nope, one point away from a game two. Devin Harbaugh finishes off Derek Holland and will take on Logan Chamberlain. Adam playing the dirty game here, even though he can only give up one. Yep. Oh, that bag helps out JBJ. Does not get that roll over, but he's still in a good position. Adam's got to go up. Drags his bag, but sits on the back lip. Justin going to take a timeout. Yeah, that's not the easiest of collects there. Hmm, I don't know what to do I'm here. I'm not sure either. Does he have an opposite side cut, reverse cut? I mean, he does, but he, I mean, I don't hate an airmail. You can't lose. Yeah. If you hit the airmail, you're forcing Adam into a crazy shot. I would just hit a routine airmail. Yeah. That does seem like the best shot selection. If you don't situation. put anything in, all Adam has to do is lay up for the wash. Go get this. You drag that right back, it's over. He is going up, and he does that perfectly. And now Adam has to make something work. He's going to have to step out, collect that black bag, and not take Justin's. Maybe oh. a bar of soap. He's going cut. Oh. No. And that is going to do it. That is it for game one. Yep, we have game number two coming up right now. The spin, and then I don't know who's going first, but they will start game two. And again, the scoreboard will update when they put in their first score. Yes. So. All right, into game two. Adam with first throw here. left oh but Adam too far Adam, Adam's telling that bag to come back I don't think it will it oh. does not matter as JBJ gets unlucky I thought it, he grabbed those yeah I thought he did too it's going to be a 2-0 start Eddie Grindersley finishes off Hunter Thorson so bracket D is an all Texas final Gavin Cano, Eddie Grindersleeve. Devin Harbaugh up 2-0 on Logan Chamberlain. That is the third place game of oh, bracket C, and this is the final of bracket A. JBJ wraps around it. Adam can cut around this. Yes. Slick side down for JBJ to tie the game. Oh, no. no it sits up again. That's two rounds in a row. Bad luck for Justin. Yeah, bag's just pinching on him. Not pushing, it, not pushing through themselves or each other. 4-0 start for Adam. First bag off to the right, out of play. Yep, first to 21. Bag in the hole is worth three. Bag on the board is worth one. And we use cancellation style scoring. All right, good push, replace. Justin in for two. Yes. Out time it falls. Put him on the board in game number two. 
winner of this match moves on to be the winner of the bracket. And they will join the ranks of Levi Haddock. And do we have any other bracket winners yet? Nope. Okay. This is the only other bracket that's in the final. Well, Gavin Cano and Eddie Grinner see that bracket final has not started yet. See what Justin wants to do here to grab that. I think it may go on a slide. That's what he's going to do. Oh, no, he pinched it. And now Hisner can sneak in for four. No. No, he's going to pick up two. Oh, we just saw how the magic works. What do you mean? Oh. Adam Hisner just got the refill. <laughs> <laughs> Does board cancel the hole? No, board cancels out two points from the hole because uh, in the hole is worth three and on the board is worth one. So that would give two points to the player that has the bag in the hole. And Adam Hisner is firing. Good collect by JBJ to avoid Adams' bag. Nice finish by Hisner. This is in for two. Yes, sir. 6-4. And on these matches, there is not a round limit. Uh, we do play some formats where it is 10 or 12 round limited, but not here. Not today. Let's do a PPR check real quick. As soon as the score zone loads. No hangers or leaners. <laughs> That's not a thing. Three in the hole, one on the board, zero on the ground. Let's see if Hisner can sneak in. No. No, it drips. We are in Mesa, Arizona at the Arizona Athletic Grounds. Having a great time. Adam Hisner throwing a 10-3-3 right now. JBJ throwing a 10. Oh, TikTok camera. Hisner going slick side, collects them all. <laughs> I love it. Dude sipping a Miller is so elite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a 10 for JBJ, and Hisner adds two more. Oh, people asking real questions. Is Hisner, uh, what was it? Is Hisner the goat of this sport, basically? No. <laughs> He's good, though. He's the goat in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a restaurant here at the Arizona Athletic Grounds called the goat. Nice collect. Adam is locked in. He looks a lot more confident than he did in the first game. Back to back four baggers for Adam and a social. All right, retaining that 8 4 lead. are in TikTok chat. Uh-oh. Alex Rawls 
I'm sorry, Devin Harbaugh up 10-2 on Logan Chamberlain. So that dream of an all-Texas final is slowly starting to slip through the cracks. Adam going up, misses an airmail, one of the first misses of the game. Justin rolls over. Beautiful roll shot. Adam knocks in two of his bags. JBJ can push this in for five and take the lead. Count it. Good bag from JBJ. 9-8. How does seating work in the Final Four? I don't know. Jake, do you know? I'm um, sure, uh, I think it's based on open standings. Okay. Uh, no, we don't, Trey. Sorry. <laughs> Social. Keeping it even. Or actually, it's nine to eight. Sorry. Justin Burton Jr. with the one point lead here. Yeah, JBJ is very steady. Look at Damon Dennis in the chat. What's up, Damon? Hey. Speaking of goats. Just through it. I like that block. And a back block. Here we go. Airmail for the tie. No, he knocks it in and goes off, gives up one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's from Ohio. Damon, uh, uh, Adam Hisser from Ohio. I like that one. Uh, yeah, it has been confirmed. Next match, we're bringing you Eddie Grindersleeve. Going to try to double dip. Gavin Cano, more Texas players, yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, how y'all doing? We're doing good, Hang right there, Jake? Damon. Yeah. Wish you were here, man. I, I miss my uh, my Damon Dennis early morning coffee talks in the lobby of the hotel. Oh yeah. That was a lot of fun. Ooh, first bag miss from Justin. Adam gonna try to tie the game. What does Hissner throw? These are Titan bags. I'm not 100% sure on the style, which type they are. Hard to see. Nice oh, cut around. They are carpet, I do know that. A 10 for Justin and a 12. We are tied. They are Talon, Talon 2.0. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought, just wanted to make sure. 10-10. Oh, that was confusing. <laughs> PPR check, let's do it. Let's see if I can find it. Chandler, yeah, these guys are good. 100%. Uh-oh, that bag way off the back. But he may still be in okay shape. Never mind. What a bag. Okay. That's not too bad because, I mean, what, you only give up one? Yeah, what, Justin. yeah, seven, six right now. If he can collect them all, it's only one. Or go around it to get one. Great bag. All right, so 11 to 10 in round 14.
Remember, everybody, if you're here enjoying the content, please hit that like button, or if you're on YouTube, even hit that subscribe button. Yep. JBJ currently throwing a 10-3-1. Adam Hisner a 10-2-3. Oh, airmail does not drag it. Going up again. Hits it again and doesn't drag it. Too clean, too clean. Third time's a charm. Yes, what a bag. <laughs> That's exactly what he says. 13 more times and I'll get it. He's like that guy from Austin Powers. He's all, dang, three times. <laughs> Still 11-10. Let's see if Hissner goes up right away. No, he's going to try to push through it. Misses left. Slick side. Great collect. Uh, that's a little off to the right. Yeah, Hissner does a great job pushing it out of the way. Oh. JBJ is going to be aggressive and go after it. This is tough. Angle on the bag, no. And now Hisner can sneak in for four. Big time momentum swing right there. That's a three point Adam Hisner lead. And it is 14-11. Yeah, that, that's huge for Adam Hisner. He's going to take that and try and run with it, but he misses his first bag off to the left. I think they are both on uppers. No, this is the uh, finals. There are no winner's bracket or loser's bracket anymore. This is game number two. Uh-oh, Adam has two misses. Oh, great job collecting it. We're looking at a two spot. I wonder if JBJ and ones him. Or maybe Adam does it himself. Now this is going to go through. See if JBJ can sneak in, get a four spot of his own. Yes! There's that four spot right back. Give Justin the lead. And now it's 15 14. Playing ping pong over here with the score. Jeremy in chat bragging about his money, clinching the checks hard. Thanks. All his checks. Who's all one bracket? There's only been one bracket winner so far, and that is oh. Levi Haddock. Adam turns around. He's all, oh, what? I didn't miss that. Uh-oh. This could be trouble. We're looking at a possible five. Yes. That bag had to be in. Justin is going to be on 20 now all of a sudden. 20 to 14. Jason's right. Uh-oh. This is scary for Adam here. Can't make a mistake. Is a block. Rolls over again. And that's a tough collect for Adam. Oh no, it's off the board. And now just one more bag in the hole is going to clinch this one for Justin Burton Jr. And that yep. is going to do it. Justin Burton Jr. comes through and double dips. Adam Hisner. Wow. wow. Yeah. All right. Well, that is our second Texas player to win a bracket. Coming up next, we're guaranteed to have a third. Gavin Cano going to try to avoid the double dip from Eddie Grindersleeve. Don't go away. That match is next. We'll be right back.
All right. What's going on? I'm here with ACL Pro, Eddie Greenersleeve. We're going to do a quick down and back, ask some quick interview style questions. First things first, man, how did you get started playing cornhole? Um, I got started just by a, a friend inviting me over to play in the backyard. Pretty much probably about like 99% of players. Sweet, man. So if, how would you describe your gameplay style when it comes to porno? Um, my game style, I like to put bags in the hole. Uh, but I can kind of do a little bit of everything. Awesome, man. So what would you say is one thing about your game that is better than any other pro on the circuit right now? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would say that. I just uh, I feel like I just give everything I got. You know, I try my best every time I walk up. You know, sure. I don't. I don't ever give up. Well, you could you could throw this round. What would you say is one ACL pro that you look up to? Um, one ACL pro that I look up to. Uh, probably Frank Modlin. I always like his attitude, and you know, win or lose, he's he's always going to be you know level-headed and, and talk to you straight about what's going on or how you played. I like it. One final question, real quick. Do you have any role models in your life that have gotten to help help you get to where you are today? Um, I would say, uh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, obviously one of my role models, you know, my family. Um, you know, my mom. My mom is deaf, so I got to watch her go through her whole life. You know, or my life growing up to, you know, fight adversity and. I feel like that's just been a big part of my game, just sure. being able to to battle through things. Yeah, of course. So. All right, Eddie. Well, I appreciate it, man. Good hey. luck the rest of the season. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Welcome back inside, y'all. It is time for bracket final number three. You just saw Eddie Grindersleeve during the commercial break. He is going to try to double dip Gavin Cano. Welcome back in. Mesa, Arizona, open number 10. We are almost done. Almost. Two bracket finals. Two, I'm sorry, two bracket finalists, both from Texas. We're guaranteed to have a third. Let's see what's going to happen. These bags are live. Over in the other bracket, Devin Harbaugh up 16-11 on Logan Chamberlain. So the hope of having an all-Texas Final Four is slowly starting to slip away. Wally, work harder. Hey, he's got to work harder, bud. Bro, if Chase is in the chat, after that interview that Jake did, uh, Eddie came up to me and said, tell Chase, do better. <laughs> I like it. This is going to be fun to watch not only because of the talent these two but the extremely similar colored bags that these two are throwing yes oh wow oh okay <laughs> same the same color on the bag and a very similar color on the bg logo so yeah can't wait for that it's just the white on gavin Cano's bags yeah that's the difference maker right there. And I guess a brighter shade of pink. Not yeah. by much. Not by much. Yeah, I, that's why I picked him up, Steven. You know, I saw his potential and was like, oh, no. You know what? Let's get Jake on here. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's a four-bagger for Eddie and a 4-0 start. Would love to see a signature singles win out of Eddie Grindersleeve, huh? That would be great. Obviously big on the double side with pro partner Caleb Batson. How about a big singles win for Eddie Grindersleeve, huh? Yeah, when's the last time you he ate? How many singles titles does he have? I don't think he has any. Huh, yeah, that'd be cool. Either way, we're guaranteed to have another BG-sponsored player in the Final Four as well. 
So bracket A, JBJ, that is BG. Bracket B, Levi Haddock, he was throwing fly. Mm -hmm. Bracket C is either AAR, BG, or Ultra. Devin Harbaugh up 17-11, and bracket D, all BG. And Alex is sitting in the king seat of that Devin Harbaugh yep. bracket. Okay. So we will be bringing you that matchup afterwards. We're going to show you all four bracket finals, just so we don't have any dead airway. Oh, yes. Bringing you all the cornhole action from Mesa, Arizona, open number 10. We do hope you have enjoyed enjoyed all the content we have brought you this weekend you can do us a favor by hitting that like button because i know you liked it Ooh, eddie with a open board miss and that's going to get gavin to tie the game Deborah, it's that depth of field, field effect. It's the Boca. Can you say that in English, please? <laughs> Boca. What is that? It's like the, the blurriness that you get from lenses from the F stop. Uh, photography. I know a little bit, a little about it. So if somebody wants to roast me in chat, go for it. Who was in the king seat? Gavin Cano was in the king seat. Eddie looking to double dip him. Frank showing all Eddie all the love in chat. Social. Staying consistent down the middle. here and a back block but it misses right Gavin pushes through <laughs> yep blue and pink bags versus blue and pink bags I would call Eddie's more of a salmon color okay I do like that I think this is the closest match of bags I think I've ever casted. Yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> Six four lead for Gavin. Who took third? We haven't uh, decided that yet. Who took third in the bracket? That would uh, in this bracket that would have been. Hunter Thorson. Good run from Hunter there. Eddie Grindersley threw an 11-2-5 in the third place game, made 29 out of 32 bags. Yeah, that's hard to beat. <laughs> guys are just throwing down here. Oh, yeah. Let us know who you think is going to win. There are one, two, three, four, five, six players still in it. And I do hate to say it, Devin Harbaugh finishes off Logan Chamberlain. So the hope of an all-Texas Final Four is done. It's over. So the players that are left, Justin Burton Jr., Levi Haddock, Devin Harbaugh, Alex Rawls, Eddie Grindersleeve, Caleb Batson. Nope, Gavin Cano. Out of those players left, Chad, who do you think is going to win? Is Texas going to win? Or are Devin Harbaugh or Alex Rawls going to shut them up? I'm still going to go with my pick. I think Alex Rawls 
I think Alex Rawls is going to win. I'm going to go Gavin Cano. And I don't know whose bag is off the back. <laughs> it's I, no clue. <laughs> that would be Eddie's. Okay. 9-4 lead for Gavin. Nigel's back, and he's voting for Alex Rawls. New Zealand loves Alex Rawls. Crikey. That's Australian, mate. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you tried. I appreciate the effort. Nice rollover from Gavin. Eddie going slick side, collects them all. Can Eddie sneak around this? Nope, he side rails it and gives up one. We've seen a lot of side rails this weekend. We have. Very surprising. We have. Zach, risky take right there. Risky. Got a lot of Harbaugh people in the chat. A lot of Devin and then a lot of JBJ. Yep. That's a low back block. Here we go. If you land in between the two bags, that would be perfect. Or just... Take them all, land on top. Nope, he's got a bag left, Corey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, cannot get it. It's going to be two more. <laughs> Take a look at this shot from Gavin Cano. Three bag drag. Yeah, no board necessary. Nope. 12 4. Eddie with another bag off that left side. It's quickly starting to get out of hand. Yeah, Eddie started off hot, but just has really cooled off. A couple misses here and there, a couple bags off the board. Another four bagger for Gavin, make it 14 to four. All right, let's see that round 12 PPR check brought to you by Michelle Thompson. Gavin throwing an 11-2, Eddie a 10-4. 11-2. That's pretty good. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, there you go, Matthew. Another bag that's not guaranteed to go. Eddie going to step out to try to grab it. Uh-oh. Eddie, Col I mean, uh, Gavin collects that for Eddie. Guaranteed two more. 16 to four. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Gavin's in King C, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so if Gavin scores four, five more before Eddie scores 17, the game is over. shooting even just laying blocks yeah, this, and stuff too this is the Gavin Cano that scares me this is the Gavin Cano that deserves to be in the top five of all ACL pros yeah God, I mean just <laughs> do making it look so effortless yeah Ooh, okay that one looked a little weird coming out of out of his hand
Social. Shout out to Joey. Since it's all Texas, we'll call that one a full load wash. There you go. I like that. I like what Juanito had to say. I mean, it begs the question, who is the Texas GOAT? Now, I'm not talking about, like, the best right now. I'm talking of all time because there are a lot of names you got to put into consideration. Eddie Grindersleeve's up there. A.J. Sims, Josh Gross are all up there as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of top talent. Because, like, players like Sammy, Logan, and JBJ, they're the best players now. But they are not the greatest of all time no. in Texas. So the real question is, who is? Because that would be my top three. Eddie, Josh Gross, and A.J. Sims. Oh, great bag. Grant Upchurch is up there as well, yes. Ooh. He just lays up. <clears throat> and that will be a wash. Where's, Ch where's live stream sports at in the chat? Yeah, where, where, where's Chase? I'm trying to figure out how Eddie throws, LOL. <laughs> I'll watch, and I'll tell you. All right, he's going to throw butterfly grip, and he's going to throw the bag. And he throws it from his hip. Uh-huh. He doesn't rear back a lot. No. Ooh. Nice airmail. Eddie answers. Gavin oh. rims out. In and out. Eddie rims out of one. Oh, no. Gavin rolls over. Eddie can go in for three, on for one, or oh. knock in Gavin's and give up one. Wow. Worst case scenario. Can't believe it. He was looking good. That round just turned on him. Wow. Oh, Eddie misses off the back. Let's see what Gavin wants to do here. You shoot this or roll it. Or oh, we'll push through it. Oh, now he second guessed himself. Now he's going to go cut over it. Good shot. Eddie bounces over it. Nice bag. Oh, wow. There they go. A four bagger for. Gavin, this bag has to be in, and it is. 19-4, two points away. gentlemen who's gonna take it do we got Eddie making a comeback here is Gavin gonna just end this in one that bag ooh, Gavin doesn't really bully it so it's not too hard of a collect for Eddie nice slick side down that's how you do it right there This bag has to be in by Eddie Grindersleeve, and it is not. That is it. Gavin Cano makes quick work of Eddie Grindersleeve and takes down a bracket D. Congrats to him. All right, we got one more bracket final. Devin Harbaugh going to try to come back and double dip Alex Rawls. That matchup is next. Don't go away.
All right. I'm here with ACL Pro. Alex Rawls is going to do a quick down and back, ask you some rapid fire questions. So real quick, first things first, how did you get started in Cornell? Uh, playing local bond draws, usually at bars. So playing those around the area, grew up, started playing bigger tournaments. Who's uh, who's one ACL Pro you look up to and why? Uh, I used to look up to Matt Guy and Jamie Graham just because they're been playing cornhole a really long time, and I just thought they had the best game in their era. Right, I like it. What do you think is your strongest aspect of your game that is better than any other pro on the circuit right now? I would probably say my block. My block game right now is probably top top of the league. I can place it back anywhere on the board. Okay. What would you say is your biggest weakness right now in your game? Uh, I don't know. Just missing left. <laughs> Do you have any role models in your life even if it's outside of Cornell? Uh, my grandpa that passed away a year ago, but you know, he's, he was a big part of my Cornell journey, so kind of doing everything for him. And what is your main goal this upcoming season with new pro, new partner Derek Holland? Finish the number one team in the world. All right. Appreciate it, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, man. I used to be dumb. I just make irrational decisions just because that's what I would do. Back looks like with the step out, he's going hard push. And gets them both to fall. I want to win a national. I want to cross that off my list. I've been close for years. It, I'm ready to do it. I, it's like I can get to the end. I just hit a brick wall no matter who I play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Open number 10. We have another bracket finals here. We have Alex Rolls taking on Devin Harbaugh. Saw some little interviews with them during the break and a little Devin Harbaugh feature. So if you want to go check out uh, all the rest of those features, we have them, the full ones up on the YouTube. So, yeah, go check that out. That's another reason why you should subscribe to the American Cornhole League on YouTube. And we got the GOAT of broadcasting, the voice Jeff McCarriger in the chat. What's up, Jeff? And thanks for the compliments. I appreciate that. Or sorry, not me. We. One one more? Okay. Oh, Jake Brandon, the ultimate of all goats, is in the chat. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, Wally's here? Okay. That guy. I'm joking. Hearts out to Walter. The whole the whole crew's here. Oh, he's trying to steal. All right, Wally, you get out of here. Where's that? I thought we banned you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an exciting match. Alex Rawls has been on fire this weekend, so it's going to be a tough job for Devin Harbaugh to take him down, but, you know, it's very possible. Devin Harbaugh, another one of our very elite players. Oh, TikTok cam is all weird. Let me pick that. Cool. 
All right, so who do we got taking this one down? Where can you find the bracket? The ACL Fan Zone app. You just download it, and then you open it, and then you scroll down a little bit. Oh, see, look. Everyone in the ACL, all the cool people at least, are here. Cornhole Mish in the chat. Oh, she's on YouTube. Uh-oh. That's the place to be, Michelle. Who's, uh, who's winning this match, Corey? Yeah, Jeff, we'll see you all soon. Or we can't wait to see you as well. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. Uh, who's winning this match? Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. I'm going for Harbaugh. All right, I'll, good. I, I wanted Alex. Okay. These are the first live bags of the game. Oh, there. They played each other earlier, and Harbaugh, I mean, uh, Rawls, excuse me, took it to Harbaugh, 21-7. Ooh, Devin missed the airmail. Push for three to start things off. Count it. Okay, let's take a let's take a time out for a second and look at the the Devin Harbaugh drip that he's got going on. Look at those shoes. There's some ultra Nikes. They have the ultra logo and on. And then them. Alex throwing uh, wearing Skechers. Nice. Those are pretty sweet. I like it. That's one thing I don't know that, I don't know, Sean Latham and all them always talk about, Anthony and all that, is the shoe game. I don't, I don't have much knowledge in that area. I just, do, they, do I think they look cool? Yeah, then I'll talk about them. There we go. That's my life. <laughs> Ice collect. Alex is 8 for 8 to start things off. It'll stay 3-zip. Whoa, Marine. You sending people to other streams? <laughs> I'm kidding. Everybody, if you want to go watch some HCL Canada action, check out their Facebook page. We got Walter Kassler and uh, Doug bringing you that action in Canada and Quebec. I forget exactly what city they're in, but they're outside of Montreal. Kind of a big deal, but yet you're on here commenting instead. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Kind of wants to be, you know, where the cool kids are, yep. where the actual big deals are. This could be really bad for Harbaugh. He needs to figure something out here. You got to hit this block. And now he goes through it instead. Rawls can push through this and get a possible five. Connects. And that's what it will be. Make it 8 nothing. Alex Rawls early in this one. Alex Rawls is a collect machine. He can collect anything. And I say that, and he's playing against Devin Harbaugh, who can oh, yeah. <laughs> collect some way out of play bags. Who? All right, well, um, some storylines coming into this one. Well, overall, J uh, Justin Burton Jr. looking to win back-to-back -back singles titles at Opens. You have Gavin Cano trying to win a singles title and solidify himself in the top five, top ten in the ACL. We have these two both vying for a signature singles win this year. And then we have the amateur, Levi Haddix, looking to upset everybody. Mm-hmm. And it looks like he can by how we saw him playing earlier. Hey, Stephen Thomas in the chat. What's up, Stephen? All right, so Alex misses his block a little left, but collectible. I'm sure Devin's going to put a side-by-side. -side. No, just going to go in, kind of bully it. There we 
go. Yep, Alex just collects it. No need to leave it there. He's got an 8-0 lead. Same spot. Nice, nice cut around. Ooh, not Our the ball, same result. On, he can get on the board. No, he takes it with him. All right, I do have some breaking news. Let's hear it. The possible seedings. So it has been confirmed Gavin Cano, no matter what, is the number one seed in the final four. So it will be Gavin Cano versus Levi Haddock. Okay. And then it will be Justin Burton Jr. versus either Alex Rawls or Devin Harbaugh. Those are two great matches right there. And we will be showing you both semifinals and the finals. So buckle up. Yeah, we're having a great Sunday here. And it's only going to get better. Sunday fun day. Mm-hmm. I love it. Alex stepping out. This is a difficult collect. But not for Alex Rawls. Jeez. Who is this guy? Why is he here? I got it. <laughs> Let's watch that one back. Disgusting. Yeah. Those are the AAR drippers. Hey. Oh. I did the replay bad. <laughs> You're okay. You're doing great. You're doing a great job. First replay. We're proud of you. Thank you. Don't say it, Gray. Way to mess it up, Gray. Wait. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything, but you can look at the score bug to see what is happening. Yeah. Harbaugh throwing a 10-8-6. the drippers let's see yeah he's stepping out to go grab this uh oh please go get this please please go get this please go get this <laughs> he's going up oh, oh it sits on the back there it goes way to jinx it gray <laughs> thanks gray <laughs> <laughs> and now harbaugh can he slide this in and maybe pick up six no, it's only going to be two. Okay, so that was a good uh, eight rounds for Alex. <laughs> eight to two. Oh, Trey Ryder is in the Sunday, is having a Sunday fun day, and he is in TikTok chat. Hey. And he said that it's all your fault. Me? Yeah. Why? I didn't say it. Uh, nobody said it here, Trey. Oh, Trey was working a NASCAR race today. I saw that Atlanta Motor Speedway. That's cool. What are you doing out there, Trey? Watching NASCAR. He said working. Making some left turns. Mm. Alex missed another bag. That's going to make it eight to four. Hmm, okay. Devin Harbaugh staying in this match. Who's in King Seat again, Alex? Yes. Okay, cool. Just had to double check. Live, st <laughs> Live stream sports, you showed up way too late. We actually talked about Texas for a second. And we wanted your input, but no, I'm not talking about Texas anymore. Hmm. <laughs> 
right, we're playing the push-replace game here, trying to see if anybody's going to make a mistake, but no, we're just going to push through it. In for the social, and that's a social, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we had a fan zone out there? Okay. With Katie Matthews and Blaine Rosier. Good time. That's pretty cool. Nice. Well, good to see you're out there working hard, Trey. That's what we need from you. Nice collect. Alex Rawls, just easy peasy for him. In for another social here. Oof, I thought it was going to stop. But it goes in, and we're going to have another wash. Keep the score 8-4. to four. And there will be many more rounds in this game if they keep throwing like that. Yeah, we're going to may be here for a while. <laughs> Especially if Devin can come from behind and win this one, we can do it all over again. 26 socials. I'm going to go under on that one. Well, the first match of the day, I'm pretty sure there were, what was it, seven? How many did we have? It was over 20. It was a lot. It was a lot. Oh. Nice backside for Harbaugh. Rawls tries to push through and goes off the back. We could be looking at our one-point bag game. Arba almost pushed that out of the way. Good collect. Eight, seven. Right back in it. Hmm, 22 rounds. I feel like that's low. I'm going over. Uh, Hawaii, they played today, but we didn't see any of them on the live stream court today. Nope. Ooh. Devin Harbaugh, a little hop. Missed that collect. They're moving. He's 100% going to go grab that. At least attempt to. Airmail? Yep. Nope. Oh, oh, no. If you're Alex, the best bag here is not in. Sit in front. Oh. Ah, he tried. Yeah, he's mad because he tried to. This is a huge airmail drag opportunity from Harbaugh. Going up. And gets it. Big bag from Harbaugh. Oh, it's dripping. Dripping back into the hole. <laughs> Let's watch this back. Devin Harbaugh just goes up with it, drags those back bags. Boom. Still gives up two points on that round, though. 10-7 game. Oh, we need heart rate monitors now. Right. All right, Dalton. Has, any, has anyone topped the shot from the first game this morning? Not even close. No. Not even close. I mean, Hunter Thorson had a couple of cool airmail drags in his game against Gavin, but yeah. had nothing close to what we saw earlier. Yeah. Game of the day, game of the weekend, possibly mm -hmm. game of the year. Yeah. Possibly game of all time. Oh, you're going, okay. No, I said possibly. I'm not saying it was. It's in contention. In contention. I wouldn't disagree with that. Harbaugh picks up two one-point game yet again. You're right, Trey. You know. What? That's a good example. You what? should take notes. That's a that's an airmail drag that drags something. It was an airmail drag that drugged something, yes. Big facts. <laughs> Oh. 
it still gets me. What game was that, says Jordan Langworthy. That was the very first game of the broadcast. Tony Smith versus uh, Jacob Trubisky. And actually, I guess since we technically ended the stream and restarted it, you can go back and watch it right now. But no. But not right, not right now. When, when we're done here, because you want to stay here and watch this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't send people away, Jake. But yeah, first, uh, first match of the day. Connie Altice wants us to replay this shot. Cue it up. <laughs> cue, oh cue it my up. Goodness. I mean, it's the greatest shot we've seen in a, in a long time. We need to see it again. Okay. I want to. I want the people to wait. You For know what? We're gonna post it on. Uh, they can see it again. I know you're right. I'm. I'm just being tough to you guys in chat. Here, I got it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do it now. There it is. There she is. And use that slow motion wheel. Oh yeah. I'll see if I can do it. Which one is it? The oh, we played speed one. Makes yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Rawls missed the push. Does Harbaugh want to try to coin slot it? He's going to take a timeout. Oh, was Devin looking at the board? I always take it down, and I think <laughs> they're looking at the Jumbotron, actually. Oh, that's the wrong camera. There you go. What do you do here if you're Harbaugh? I mean, you have a couple options. An airmail is risky because you risk grabbing one, if not both, of his bags. You can try a, a, a roll slash coin slot. You I can just slide it in and wash out the round. I think if you hit it backside enough, I don't think any of those AAR bags will go. He's going to try to cut around it. No. Mm. All right, so let's paint the picture. First game of the day. Tony Smith throws a bag short. Trzinski on 18. He has to get the bag in his hand the ba and the two bags up the board in the hole. Take a look at this. To get them all and the facial reactions from everybody behind them is what made it worth watching. <laughs> Greatest shot of the weekend by far. And now we're back here. Alex Rawls up 12-9. Looking to put away Devin Harbaugh. Yeah, nasty collect to stay in the game. That was disgusting. This is going to be at least four. And that's what it'll be, 16-9. Alex Rawls trying to join Justin Burton Jr., Gavin Cano, and Levi Haddock as the three bracket winners. I think Alex Rawls has been the best player of the weekend, not of just today. For sure. He's been on fire this weekend. Ooh, nice rollover. Shout out Jawan Smith. Swept, swept a regional close to home today. Rookie ACL Pro. Oh, nice push through. But that may be out of play. Yeah, it's not flat on the board. So there's nothing really to grab. He's going to try it, though. Oh, oh he kind of pushed it out. Far as soaked himself. Let's see if Alex can grab this bag. No, Harbaugh can still salvage two if he sneaks in here. And he does. Good bag. They were talking about us, talking about the players, saying we were disqualified because we didn't have a drink in our hands. Hey. We aren't. Yeah, don't be putting that on us. <laughs> we got to tear this whole setup down after this. We can't. We, can't, we have to be in tip-top shape. Oh, yeah. 
Our ball misses right. Alex going to step out, try to go around it. Reverse cut, beautiful. I believe Brady Foster was in, I don't know, I don't think he's out here. He may be in Canada, I'm not sure. Oh. Nice airmail from Harbaugh, but he drags Alex's bag closer to the hole. Now Alex can go grab this for two. He's going to try to push through it. No! Um, interesting. I don't know, would you have shot the airmail there? Or Probably, roll? yeah. I like an airmail. Nonetheless, it's still 16-11, round 20. Yep. PPR check. Alex throwing a 10-7-9. Harbaugh a 10-5-3. Okay. Yeah, this is bracket finals. Alex Rawls sitting in the king seat. Devin Harbaugh. If he loses this match, is out. And Alex Rawls takes the bracket. Third bag blocker. Harbaugh sits behind. Let's see if Rawls can grab it. Going up. And he does. Great bag from Alex Rawls. Just hits it. Goes up. Sees the opportunity, just a short air mail. Hits it perfect. That's the danger about putting a fourth bag block on Alex Rawls. Alex Rawls, 13 four baggers in 20 rounds. Pretty good. That's all right. <laughs> nice roll over for Rawls. Uh-oh, people are asking <laughs> about us in the TikTok chat, our, cor our cornhole skills. Eh. Trey says, Jake was a point away from being a pro this year. Never seen Corey play. <laughs> and you never will. <laughs> Harbaugh's got to get one of these bags or this could be it. That's not bad at all. Rawls can roll around this to put the pressure on Devin. It's not terrible. Yeah. 8-5. You at least have to be on if you're Devin. Uh, he's giving the shrug. He's like, I'm going for it. Let's see it. Is this our sub territory? This could be big. Going at it. Oh. No, off the back. Knocks in Rawls, and that's going to do it. Alex Rawls is your fourth and final bracket winner here in Mesa. So it is all set. Justin Burton Jr., Levi Haddock. Gavin Cano and Alex Rawls. Those are the four men who are competing for an open singles title. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will bring you both semifinal matches. You're not going to want to miss them. Stay tuned. I used to be dumb. I just make irrational decisions just because that's what I would do. Back, looks like with the step out, he's going hard push. It gets to fall. I want to win a national. I want to cross that off my list. I've been close for years. It, I'm ready to do it. I, it's like I can get to the end. I just hit a brick wall no matter who I play.
All right, welcome back in, everybody. It is time. Four bracket finalists, single elimination to determine an open number 10 singles champion. It is only poetic, Corey. We mentioned earlier about how the two best states in cornhole are Florida and Texas. Mm -hmm. How fitting the final four, three players from Florida, uh, three, sorry, three players from Texas and one player from Florida. It's a beautiful thing. Let's see uh, who's going to claim the title here. So this is the first. We're going to bring you both semifinal matches. This is the first one. Levi Haddock on your left, Gavin Cano on your right. And then the other one we will show you afterwards, Justin Burton Jr. versus Alex Rawls. Let's get some predictions in the chat. Texas has a 75% chance of winning this Open. But will it actually happen? Let's go. Who you got in the chat? Is Gavin going to take this one down? Or is the amateur, Levi Haddock, going to come to Arizona and prove that he belongs? Yeah, just seeing, by the way, that Levi was throwing against KB earlier, it's going to be a tough matchup for Gavin over here. Yeah. So I mean, and I'm not trying to show bias, but, man, it would be sick to see Levi win this thing. Yeah. These are the first live bags of the game. Gavin Cano throwing those teal and pink wizard L's. Levi Haddock throwing those purple and gray fly, I believe, banshees. Gavin misses a little off to the right. Levi is three for three to start. Haddock, a four bagger and a 2 0 lead. Shot like he did against Eddie Grindersleeve. This is going to be a match. Yeah. So let's see if Gavin can stay hot here. There are two bags in front of the hole. Just going to push replace. That bag is yeah. That bag is out. Gavin can tie the game with a four bagger, or take the lead with a four bagger, and that's what he will do. Put him on the board. Two to four, Gavin Cano up. We're getting it started here. Yep, this is single elimination, ladies and gentlemen. So you lose, you go home. You win, you move on to the championship match of open singles. Very exciting stuff. Off to that right side, out of play for Levi. Other side of the championship is Logan. Goodness. They're doing it already. Justin Burton Jr. and Alex Rawls. Holy cannoli. Hey, Mojo. I've been paying attention to the TikTok chat all day. Oh, Jake just dis. Where'd Jake go? He just vanished. Okay, I guess I'm here. He disseparated. Oh, there he is. Okay, never mind. All right, so eight to two. Another big round for Gavin right there. Jumping out to an early lead. Oh my God, Nate Mistress figured it out. That's it. I figured out what his throw looks like. Who? It's Michael Dodson. There's no shot you know who that is. I know, I've heard that name he's before. A, he's a local kid from Maryland. He made the ESPN broadcast for 
college singles and college doubles this past year in Myrtle Beach. That is almost identical to what his throw looks like. I, I'm just I'm just glad glad we figured it out. Shout out Nate. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, Justin. Gavin, two bags off that left side. We'll see if Levi can cut around it. No. Doesn't seem like his cut roll shots are working right now. He's going to need to find them. Yeah, for sure. Gavin misses. You got to get one here. You have to score points this round. He's going to go up and hits the airmail clean. Levi Haddock. We saw him Eight doing four. that against KB. Oh, yeah. So let's see if he can bring that energy back with those clean airmails. Great job in chat. All right, looks like we might have a clean round here. Oh, never mind. I threw the jinx. My bad, Gavin. Way to go. In for to give up two. Yep. Eight, six. only been playing for a year. Well, that sucks for the rest of us. Yeah, right? <laughs> Gavin does a good job going through that. Gavin kind of yeah, kind of brought that back a little bit. He was not happy with that. Levi does not get it. Slick side down for Haddock. Oh, he threw it too soft. This might go. Oh, He's going to okay. lay up, take the two. It was perfect. He just threw it a little too soft. That's tough because, you know, throwing slick side at those, if you miss a little left or a little right, it's off the back. Oh, yeah. I know from experience, Jake. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. Push shots are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Closer. Levi doesn't touch it. Oh, it's a tough collect. And Gavin can get around this. Yep. He does. See if Levi slicks side down if he can grab it. No, whoa. Off the back, that's a five spot. And it is all Gavin Cano in this one so far. 15 to 6. Jumping out to a big lead here. Gavin throwing a 10-5, Levi, Levi a 9-3-8. All right, so Gavin Connor's going to keep it dirty, keep the block game going. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's been working all day. Mm -hmm. Levi stepping out, doesn't look too confident in what he's doing. What is he going to go? He's going to try maybe a little reverse cut roll. I don't know what was... What his attempt was there. Gavin's going to take a timeout. Do you backside this? Oh, all day. Five. It's five to two right now. And Go I'm, get this. And I mean, even if he does take his front bag, that's a super hard yeah. push for Levi. Yep. See if Gavin's feeling the backside airmail here. Going up. No, he's laying up. Wow. Okay. Saving it for maybe his yeah, fourth bag. Yeah, for his last one. You're right. I did the math wrong. <laughs> now he will go up. And he's hoping to drag this front bag. Yeah. Oh. 
hits on the back <laughs> lip and takes it in. That was as backside as backside yeah. you can be. <laughs> well, now we'll see if Levi can do the same thing and wash out the round. He shakes his head like he's not confident in this. Oh, he oh. gets it too. What a bag. Slow motion for Levi Haddock. Wow, what maybe a that's, of shots. Maybe that's a confidence boost to get him back in this game. It's only a nine-point deficit. to the right. First open singles title if either of these guys go on to win it. Gavin Kano with lots of experience though. He does have a lot of open doubles titles. Not open singles title though. Mm -hmm. He has a pro shootout title. That's right. He has a many pro shootout titles. Yes. Slick side down, Levi gonna try to collect this for two. Oh no, bad luck there. It will stay 15-6. Yep, you're not wrong. Board. Camera. Huh? Camera. Oh. Sorry. Nope. 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 There you go. <laughs> okay. How many players left? Four. These two, Logan, nope. Justin Burton Jr. and Alex Rawls. Ooh, Levi going after this. This is uh, dangerous. Ooh, he brings it back, though. Gavin with a four-bagger. Levi going to try to collect this for the wash. Yes. Good shot. It's harder than it appears, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Block, block. That's the name of the game for Gavin Connor here. Just trying to control the game with first bag. When do the pro shootout start? The first pro shootout is at the first pro national in April. Oh, yes. Can't wait. Big time roll coming. Yep. Oh, oh. so pretty. Just gets the bounce out of that bag. Levi, oh. whoa, a penguin kind of, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Gavin misses the roll. That one doesn't bounce for him. I like an airmail over a slide, but he's going to step out. Oh, he is going airmail and only gets the front bag. Here, can we show the last two? Yeah. He hit that way short. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's take a look at these. First, the roll from Kano. Bounces right over. And then this weird shot from Levi. That bag he threw went in. Yeah. And left all the other bags on the board. Huh. Oh, Trey Ryder dropping the knowledge in the chat of where the first national is. Oh, yeah? Yep. Good old Palm Beach, Florida. Cannot wait. Hey, it'll be my first time to Florida. Let's go. Trey, the real question is, where? Uh, how far is the nearest Bucky's from Palm Beach? Ah, maybe it could be my first time at Bucky's as well. I love Bucky's. Nineteen to six, Gavin Cano, two points away from a date in the open singles final. All right. 
No dirty round this time, just staying down the middle. Nope. I mean, you're on 19. You just go in the hole. Got to be in, and it is. Wait for your opponent to miss, right? Yep. Let your opponent lose the game for themselves. So Gavin only two points away from taking down the semifinals match and making his way making his way to the championship match. All right, is Gavin I think just a normal slide shot will take his bag. Oh, it doesn't? Whoa. Okay, it's barely hanging on to that left side. Oh, okay. So if Gavin collects this bag, oh wait, no. Uh, yeah, Levi still has a bag left. Okay. It, oh, it doesn't fall, it's which makes it more difficult because I think it's gonna go. Oh, oh but they all go, okay, okay good bag. Whew. That was close. I was gonna say, how is Gavin's bag holding on there? Gavin Cano throwing a 10-4. Levi Haddock a 9-5-3. Gavin Cano two points away from pushing himself into the finals. Representing the great state of Texas. Double clutch this one, rethink his shot. Let's hmm. see. I like a roll. Yep. Oh no. And now Gavin has a little bit of a lane. Slick side right at that green bag. Whereas maybe he can go roll too. And he doesn't know either. I was gonna say, you don't think a step out here? I think. You shoot the sure. same shot, or you want to leave your bag there, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right, let's see what he has decided here. Let's get uh, to 75K likes, down. guys, so Jake can stay in a hotel tonight instead of his car. Bang! Oh nice push God. through. I mean, that may be all she wrote. He's going to have to do something crazy. Slick side at the pile. No, that's going to do it. Gavin Cano takes down Levi Haddock and is into the open singles final. Congrats to Levi. Heck of a run, but not enough. Gavin stays hot. All right, semifinal number two coming up. Alex Rawls, Justin Burton Jr. Don't go away. I used to be dumb. I just make irrational decisions just because that's what I would do. Back looks like with the step out, he's going hard push. Oh. I want to win a national. I want to cross that off my list. I've been close for years. It, I'm ready to do it. I, it's like I can get to the end. I just hit a brick wall no matter who I play.
Welcome back in, everybody. Jake Brandon, Corey Russell continuing coverage. Open singles here in Mesa, Arizona. We have two more games. Alex Rawls is public enemy number one, trying to prevent an all Texas open singles final. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough job for Alex here because JBJ, winner of open number nine singles in San Diego a couple weekends ago, is looking to make it back-to-back -back open singles wins here. That would be amazing. Yeah, a lot of cool storylines. So let's see what's going on. Who do you guys like in the chat? Let me get a score prediction. The person who correctly guesses the score will get $20 from Wally Kastler and Trey Ryder. That's $40 in total. Wow, I need to, where can I put my predictions yeah, in so chat? Prediction in the chat, whoever gets the score correct. And these bags are these live? These bags are live. All Second right. semifinal. Let's turn down that sick jam a little bit. That is some pretty hype music. I do like it. So, um, oh, God, I'm all over the place. There we go. Okay. Rawls rolls over. See if JBJ gets aggressive, goes after it, slick side down. He sure is. And spins it. Great bag. Alex back blocks. Here we go. Roller airmail. That's the question. Airmail. Yep. Bang. Backside. Guaranteed two. That's what he was doing in San Diego. Give him four. And that is an early 4 0 lead for Justin Burton Jr. Yeah, you got to watch out for those airmails from JBJ. He hits him, hits him clean. Florida or Texas? Are we going to have an all Texas finals? Do we want that chat? I it would be poetic to have a Texas versus Florida finals. the back side for JBJ out of play. In for two here for Alex to put him on the board. And he doesn't want to score yet, so that's going to be a 10-10 wash. So four to zero the score is going to remain. So coming up with the keys to this game, I mean, both players like dirty boards, but I think the key is whether or not Alex can continue the cuts and the rolls. Just like that? Yeah, just <laughs> like what JBJ is doing. You saw him, uh, wow, well, you saw him miss a roll round number one, and gave up four points. And then you see him miss one to the right. Oh no, this could be another four spot. What is happening right now? JBJ has to refocus as that bag fell. That is a 12 on eight, four, make it eight nothing, Justin Burton Jr. We, that was a weird round from Alex right there because Alex, for him, that was a the simplest push collect shot you yeah. had all day. Yep. And we've seen him hit way harder collects than yeah. that. So two bags missing that collect is very weird. I think the key for Alex to win is going to be capitalizing on JBJ's mistakes. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to take some unique shots. But when he misses, you need to be able to take advantage. And that is a great roll. There we go. JBJ's lane is compromised. Let's see if he just goes up. He does. Hits it. The winner of this plays Gavin Cano in the overall finals. Alex is two for two on cut shots. 
bang. JBJ, two for two on air mails. It's disgusting. And Alex goes three for three. It is Alex's cut and roll versus JBJ's air mail. It's fun to see these guys up here, too, because last year both of them won a singles national title. So that's cool to see, you know, yeah. big yep. time players here. Hey, Jeff McCarriger's still here. Let's go. Jeff, who are you rooting for? Yeah, let's hear it, Jeff. That's the real answer right there. Whoa, that's a weird bag. Oh, nice bounce over for Justin. No way, LOL. <laughs> All right, if you see them uh, looking away, they, we have a Jumbotron out here, so they're yeah. looking at the board cam on the Jumbotron. Just trying to figure out what he wants to do, slick side down, just go take everything. Uh-oh, oh, this is left. This is, what I, this is what we're talking about. Alex needs to capitalize on this, and he does give him four. Cuts the lead in half, make it 8-4. There we go. That's the round that Alex needed to get back into this match. Get the confidence back, be like, hey, why am I missing these easy shots? Let's go. Yeah. First bag block on that V. Got to be careful. Jeff McCarriger here just wants to see a good game. 100. grab that but I think that is going to fall Alex reverse cut beautiful side by side if JBJ plays his right slick side cut you may be able to grab it and leave Alex is there he's staying sticky and takes them all okay he has a lead so we'll take the wash yes yeah, Swords Valley makes a makes a good point Alex just had foot surgery a couple of months ago. He's still walking with a limp for right now. Can you imagine how good he's going to be when he fully heals? I see. He's going to be nuts. I see many titles in his future. Yes. Where do you got your crystal ball working? Uh huh. What do you, what do you, what do you what's, what's going to happen tonight? Uh, well, what are the Powerball numbers? Powerball numbers. Oh, um, 20, 17, how many are there? Five? Six? Five? I don't, I don't five know. and then a super number or whatever it's called. I don't know. There's two of them for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 20 and 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. I would have liked to see Alex go slick there. That didn't really move the pile at all. Justin going to step out, cut around this. And now you give a wide open lane for Alex. This is a hard push. Going at it and gets them all. Oh, what a bag. The collect game of Alex Rawls is unbelievable. And Justin going to collect his as well. So Justin comes out with two on that round. Let's show both of them. Okie dokie. Please. Sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry, Jake. Here is that ridiculous push by Alex. And then here is that push by JBJ to get him a couple of points. Good shooting. 10-4 lead. So what we expect here from both these guys, they're not letting us down. <laughs> oh, that's too good. What? Trey said, Jake just bullying Corey in the truck. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, just tell him. <laughs> play both of them now. Okay, okay. I can play the replay, but I just can't click multiple. No. Nope. He needs to do that. Mm -hmm. It's a team effort, Trey. We're yeah. a team. Oh, nice bag. Yeah, so like when we tear down the team effort, he's going to do all the work, and I'm going to sit here rooting him on. <laughs> oh, no. Bad luck for Alex. Give 
JBJ for more. So 14. 14 wow. four. Where is this? This is in Mesa, Arizona. 30 minutes outside of Phoenix. Wow, Jordan Camba. You are late, but you're here, and that's what matters. Who's winner of the other brackets? So Gavin Cano won his bracket, and Levi Haddock won his bracket. Gavin has already defeated Levi, so the winner of this game will play him. I like it. Leaves the bag in Alex's lane here. Bar of soap. Bar of soap. You got to do it. You soap. have to, right? Have to. Let's go. He slick side down. Here we go. JVJ does oh. not get it. Just missed it. And now Alex can go in for two. Hey, Wesley, let's go. I mean, I would gladly do that. <laughs> let's get the 75K likes so Trey can pay for that sushi date. Oh, I, that's a great idea. <laughs> Ten point, or sorry, eight point lead for JBJ over here. Whoa, off the board for JBJ. Visibly confused at that shot. Yeah. Bag decided to have a mind of its own there. Whoa, Alex gives it back. Alex is done. Man, these he, guys stink. <laughs> Alex almost, he's out of here. Took a little walk. Put me in there, coach. JBJ off the board with an airmail. That's a seven on four. I love it. I love the reaction here. Misses it. He's all, get out of here. <laughs> 14 to nine. Don't call it a comeback, Corey. Jimmy Humans, get out of here. Jimmy, how'd you do in singles today, man? Why was that not you in the finals? <laughs> yeah, those are the real questions there. Ooh. Oh, nice rollover. Oh. Another bag off the board for JBJ. That's three bags. Jimmy. In the last eight he's thrown. Jimmy, leave. <laughs> Bang! That's a good way to finish. Three out of the last eight bags Justin has thrown have been off the board. Crazy. Lack of sleep, I threw like doo doo. That's what happens when you win the day before. I can't see the likes on the studio on the computer. Oh, that's lame. Here, I'm checking my phone. First bag block. Watch that V if you're Justin. We did it. Perfect. 75,000? Yep. Yes. Trey, yep. You can just Venmo us. Yeah, the money for dinner tonight, Trey. Appreciate it. <laughs> nice backside. Alex going up. He misses short. JBJ up again. Two for two on the backside airmails. Alex hits that one. Finishes with a seven. In for three. Oh. No. That's another bag off the board by JBJ. Where are we at in the bracket? This is the semifinal. Winner plays Gavin Cano in the overall singles final. Okay, I know it's the semifinals, but <laughs> TikTok chat. 100K likes, 
and Corey and Jake have to play each other after the last game. Who said that? Uh, TB in TikTok chat. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, if we get to 100K likes, let's see it, ladies and gentlemen. Corey don't want the smoke. Ooh. <laughs> And we can uh, commentate it from uh, wireless mics. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> <laughs> Go and roll. No, too short. Let's see if JBJ goes up or roll. Goes backside on fire. Oh, JBJ, he can push this in. Oh, he's this, going for the push this here. Would give him five. This is a huge shot. Going at it. He gets oh. it. What a bag. Justin Burton Jr. That's a great push shot right there. Puts himself on 19. And no emotion. Just stoic. Jimmy, whenever you want, man. You go into um, West Virginia and commentate. Let's go. I'll play singles for you. You can commentate. How about that? A machine, I tell you. A machine. Whoa, uh, again. Justin just can't do anything but throw the bags on the ground. Talking to himself. Utter disbelief there. <laughs> Kevin Green says, well, I will not be getting $20. <laughs> Shout out Green's family butcher shop. Ooh, Alex brought that back. In for three to make it 19-15. Gets it. I'm not going to say anything, but we are at 90K likes on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. Wow, it's climbing fast. Jeez. We're already at 92. Oh no. 93K. 94K. <laughs> Stop. It's going up that fast. <laughs> 95K. 96K. How many viewers we got in TikTok right now? Uh, 1100. Uh oh, we're at 99k. We, oh no. We passed 100k likes <laughs> on TikTok. JBJ with another bag off the board, another roll for Rawls. And now you gotta be careful. He's going up again. This time it rims out. Oh my word, and now you're gonna be in the scenario where you need to put a bag in the hole. Rawls does not get it, but we're sitting eight on two. You need to put a bag in the hole. And he does to limit it to three. Sheesh. How did we how did we get to 100k likes that fast? I don't know. That was impressive. That was impressive. 1918 game. One point match. If you're JBJ, you just got to be thinking, man, I just need Alex to miss one bag. Miss one time. That bag is still in play. He doesn't need to get it yet. Gavin Cano has arrived to the bleachers waiting in the wings. There it goes. Dude, we're hitting all the legs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button on TikTok if you're there. Let's see that number skyrocket. Let's go. Social to calm the nerves. Still 1918. 19 to 18. This game is close. 
game is nuts. This game is nuts. Just like corn nuts. Oh, got him. <laughs> Shout out to corn nuts. Go pick yourself some. There's up a some. block. A half of a step out. JBJ going to look to cut over this. Beautiful. And now he has whole control. What does Alex do? Alex goes roll. JBJ going to try the same thing he did first bag. And he gets a roll over. Alex oh. is two for two. The same. It's coming down to the wire here. JBJ oh. misses. And this is it. Oh, Alex is on 18. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Slide, push, no. Push, collect, don't take Alex's bags, win the game. No, stop it right now. There's no way. There's no. I think he's going to have to lay up, give up, too. He's going slick side. Why is he going slick side? He's going slick side at it. Oh, my gosh. He almost did exactly what you said, Corey. <laughs> that would have been insane. This place would have gone bananas. I would have flipped the desk over. <laughs> I would have loved to see that. Wow, that was close. Wow. It is a lead change after all that. 20 to 19. Jake. That bag was a rocket out of Wally, uh, Alex's hand. Wall. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jake, they're yep. trying to get us to do something for 200K likes on TikTok, and we're at 136K. Sure. <laughs> what do they want us to do? I don't know. Ooh, that's you need do not go in. Sit in between. That's okay. That is a okay. I don't think Alex can't get all of this. There's no way. The round. Uh, I think. Don't say that. I think the game is gonna end this round. Alex going up, hits the airmail drag. If JBJ can hug that right side, take the white bag on the board and the one in his hand, he's going to win the game. Going at it, no. It will stay on. It is a wash. Sheesh. What yes. a game. <laughs> what a game. I mean, yeah, JBJ jumped out to an early lead. It looked like it was going to be over fast, but Alex Rawls crawls his way back and is staying in this match. It's coming down to one shot here. One mistake. If you had one shot, one opportunity. Mom's yeah. spaghetti. Yeah, mom, yeah, my, my mom's spaghetti. Shout out to Mom's Spaghetti in Detroit. That's where I got my favorite sweater. Justin off to the left. Alex collects them all. Well, it's got, it's got some toes barely in the I water. No, I'd rather block and force Alex into a miss. I like your call on that. That's a way better idea. Oh, he goes up now, hits the backside, doesn't even touch the bag. This is in to put the pressure on JBJ. Okay. He has to grab it. This would be one of the greatest shots in all of Cornhole. To stay in the game. Going up. Oh, we get it! Oh, what a bag! Oh my god. Justin Burton Jr. to stay in the game. That's unbelievable. That's not for What real. a bag! Come on. Alex has to give him some, some knucks for that one. Come on. Oh, my goodness. What a match. The crowd went nuts. Some actual emotion out of Justin Burton Jr. It is still 20 to 19. All right. We're still in this match, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. 
need to put some heart rate monitors on us, Corey. I'm <laughs> I know. Oh, right? and then Alex misses left. Can JBJ cut around it? He can. I think that bag's out of play. Two bags in the hole for the win for Justin Burton Jr. Beautiful collect, and now this bag is in for the win. No, he comes up short. He had it. What? In for the win, and Justin Burton Jr. cannot take advantage. It was wide open. Oh, my word. Just a normal slide shot up the middle. He could have done that with his eyes closed. Oh, okay. Forget about that shot. You have to concentrate. Get back into your game. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay side by side here. Alex, beautiful push replace right there. Yeah, just shouldn't have any problem going through it as well. Slip side down. Oh, perfect. That's beautiful. Better than in. Yes. Alex takes them all. And that's not an easy shot right there that no, Alex not just at all. did. Underrated. Especially at this point of the match. You know the nerves are there. Got to be in by Justin Burton Jr. to stay alive. Whew, just got up the board. <laughs> yeah, that had some breaks on it, but it makes it in. 20 to 19. Alex currently throwing a 9.57. JBJ a 9.52. This is just a perfect example on how you don't need to throw a high PPR to be good at Cornhole. These two are slinging it. They are. <laughs> this is unreal shooting from both of them. Here's a back block. What does JBJ do here? Do you shoot this or do you go around it? He's going to lay behind. Okay, okay. Playing the strategic game here. Oh, and now you shoot this. Now you shoot this all day. Going up. Oh, oh he knocks it off the back. That's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. Alex takes a timeout. The round is 4-2. Alex has the advantage with a bag in the hole. You roll around this, you're going to force JBJ into having to drag that. Anything else, JBJ can drag that for the win. This would be a clutch shot right here from Alex Rawls. This is way better than pickleball, says Jeff McCarriger. <laughs> you are so right. Let's see what Alex does here. He's going to go roll. Oh. Gets it in, and now JBJ has to hit the airmail drag with taking. He has to take it. Going up. He oh hits the airmail, but it does not drag. Oh, no. Alex Rolf, go get that bag. And that's going to do it. What a game Alex Rawls takes down Justin Burton Jr. In a heater of a match, jeez. Wow. <laughs> so it will be Texas versus Florida in the finals. Gavin Cano, Alex Rawls. Let's take a commercial break, our last one of the day. When we come back, we will crown an Open 10 singles champion. I used to be dumb. I just make irrational decisions just because that's what I would do. Bag looks like with the step out, he's throwing a hard push. Oh. I want to win a national. 
I want to cross that off my list. I've been close for years. It, I'm ready to do it. I, it's like I can get to the end. I just hit a brick wall no matter who I play. It all comes down to this. One final match to determine an open number 10 open singles champion. On your left, Gavin Cano out of Texas. On your right, Alex Rawls out of Florida. Arguably the two best states in cornhole. One on one to determine supremacy at least for this week. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great match. Alex Rawls has been shooting great all weekend. And Gavin Cano shot pretty well yesterday, but has really come out today and is going to prove that he can take down a singles open championship. But he has to get through Alex Rawls. Jake Brandon alongside the infamous Corey Russell for the last time today. The last time this weekend, 
Yeah, it's been an awesome weekend. We've had some great matches. Two awesome matches today. The first one and then that last one we just had. Whew. Some great matches. So make sure you go back and watch all those matches again. And if you've missed them, well, I'm sorry. You're going to have to go subscribe to the American Cornhole League YouTube page and go watch those videos. Final oh, yeah. spin. It lands on Gavin. He will throw first. Here we go. Gavin Cano. Alex Rawls. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who do we got? BG versus AAR. BG looking for yet another open title this season. And AAR looking to prove they made the right choice in picking up Alex Rawls in the offseason. Ooh, Florida beating Texas here per usual. I like it. Okay. Get some drama. Four bagger for Gavin to start and a four bagger for Alex to start. All right, started off clean. No funny business here. We started off the day with an incredible match between Tony Smith and Jacob Trzinski. And we are looking to end the day the same way. We will see what happens between Gavin and Alex. What's up, Ryan Taylor? A nice rollover for Alex. Slick side down for Gavin. See if Gavin wants to cut around it. Yep. Oh, cannot get it to fall. Alex can cut around it for two. Oh, that's so pretty by Alex Rawls. Wow. He's yeah. going to strike first in the championship. Beautiful little get around shot right here. Right to left. Hits it perfect. Does Idaho have a team? No, they do not. Maybe someday. I regret, Corey, I will admit, I, will, I regret bringing up the foot foul rule. Because that is all the chat is talking about. Told you. Told you. It's fine. What's the BG bag he's using? Wizard L. And what did we say, the AAR Rippers? Yep. Cool. Four bagger for Alex and a 10. The bag sits on the right side of the hole for Gavin. And that's a four nothing lead. All right, so Alex coming off a win here. So Gavin's been sitting since that last game, so maybe he just needs a little bit of warm-up here to get back into it. Who's for Texas? Gavin Cano is representing Texas here in the finals. And Alex Rawls representing Florida. Can you explain scoring, please? Three, a bag in the hole equals three. A bag on the board equals one. And we use cancellation scoring, so the bags cancel each other out. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, no, worst-case scenario. Gavin misses left, knocks in both of Alex's bag, and now he's inept to give up six. Oh, it's going to be eight. He just started walking down like he gave up on that one. Wow. All An right. eight spot from Alex Rawls makes it 12 nothing.
There is no more king seed. This is the overall final. So whoever wins this game is the champion. Man, Justin Burton Jr. sitting in the crowd, looks defeated. Yeah, knew he had it in his grasp. Yes, they win money for, for winning. Just a little under a million dollars. <laughs> Crafty Hungry in the chat says, ain't over till I sing. See if Gavin can collect this for the wash. No. Two more. 14 nothing. This is not at all what we expected. No. Gavin just cold. And 11 2 for Alex and 8 4 for Gavin. There are officials in the building, but yeah, like it's, it's it has to be enforced. They are not watching this game. Yep. Players can ask anytime. Alex Rawls trying to rip the heart out of every Texas native in the chat. Yep. Three Texas players in the final four. And now Alex Rawls is seven points away from defying the odds and taking it down. Ten ten wash. <laughs> Fourteen to zero championship match. Let's see, can Gavin get something started here? Is Alex just gonna keep the pressure on? from Alex to see what Gavin does here. Going up, hits the airmail. Alex rolls over. Man, he is not missing a roll. Gavin backside, two for two. Alex decides to roll it in again. Just feeling it. Gavin, three for three for the wash. Oh, that bag's not off the board? Okay. It just slipped under the Yep, slipped under the, the wood. Yep. The support. <laughs> you ruined it, Jake. You ruined it. What did I do? You just ruined it. What did I ruin? Nothing. It's not. It's, it's okay. All right. Alex with the push clog. I don't know what I missed. You just. No. You didn't miss anything. I'm just saying you ruined uh, what you're looking at right now. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, Wooten, y'all used to. Remind each other about homework. Remind the teacher about homework. That's funny. <laughs> Into limited to two. Yes. 16 zip. Has there ever been a 21-0 in an open final before? Oh, I'm sure there has been. I don't yeah, know. I can't recall. All right. Gavin, you're going to need to do something. Alex Rawls is just keeping his thumb on the gas, foot on the gas here. Yeah, didn't go for a block this time. He decided to go right in the hole. How old are they both? Alex Rawls is what? 20, uh, they're both in their early 20s, and I think Gavin's 20. He turned 21 this year. I believe Alex is 21, maybe 22. Yeah. Great back block from Alex. If you're going to score points, you better do it the hard way. Bang. God, I mean, he, I don't think he's missed a single roll this game. 
Yeah, he's been it's on fire. disgusting. This bag has to be in. He knocks it in and goes off. He gives up three. It's 19 to zip. What is happening to Gavin? Has he just completely given up on this? I mean, I don't, I don't know. He just his body language. He looks super defeated and out of it. I mean, it's hard to come back down 19 nothing, especially when you're throwing as hot as Alex is right now. What's Alex shooting? A 10-6-7. Gavin's throwing an 8-5-6, and that bag is off to the right. And I mean, <laughs> and Alex pushes it out of the way. You can't get that. He's got to lay a block. Oh, he went after it. Wow. That is going to do it. Alex Rawls, utter domination from start to finish, wow. is your open number 10 singles champion. Wow. <laughs> That's unreal. Just domination there. 21 nothing. A skunk in the open singles final. Congratulations to Florida. Yes. Taking down Texas in the final. Okay. Wow. Okay. What a finish. I mean, it's not what we expected, but. No. I mean, like, everybody's in shock. Nobody's even moved. Yeah. Like, look at the Colorado boys. Trench camera, show the Colorado boys. <laughs> I can't. Let me see. I think you can. Can you get him? Uh, let me see. Where are we at? No. Oh, they moved. Never, Never mind. mind. They all moved. But, man, <laughs> that was that was ridiculous. Do you want to ask Alex some questions? We can. Well, yeah, let's see. Here. Look, come here. Wow, I know. Have a seat. Wow, one of the most dominating finishes and runs of all time. Alex Rawls, you beat Gavin Cano 24 zip in the open singles finals. Tell me how you're feeling. I'm feeling good, man. You know, you know, nothing against Gavin, but you know, he's he's a great player and it was just an off game for him, you know, nothing. This ain't no like record thing against him. You know, he just he just had a bad game and it's the worst time possible, but you know, it was just my time this weekend to get to get a win, so you know, I'm happy to be throwing rippers. Um, these bags can roll, man. And they can go in the hole. They can roll. They can collect. I mean, there ain't nothing these AAR rippers can't do, man. No, dude. I mean, you, I don't think you missed a single roll the entire game. I mean, you won that game, and everybody just sat here and stared in awe because they don't even know what the heck happened, man. Yeah. I mean, it, the, the roll shot was something I've been working on for a while, and, um, you know, the pro snipers could roll pretty decent, but I, these these rippers are just my bag, on man. A, I, on another level, bro. I I tell people all the time, I, I, I really do believe I'm better with these rippers. Wow. Yeah. I really do believe. I, I do believe they're the best bag in the game, and I think it's hands down. I mean, and it definitely showed. You and Derek had a great run in doubles right. yesterday, and then you get to put it all together with a fantastic singles run, man. Tell me what this win means to you personally. It means a lot, man. You know, uh, I, I had a heel surgery a while back, and I was out for two months, and people kind of forgot about me. And, you know, I've, I finished number two player in the world two years in a row. I mean, you know, like I've, I've been there. I've done that. I've, you know, I had to take a little break, but, you know, I'm, I'm back. I'm here. You know, if anybody wants to doubt me, that's fine, but I'm here, and yeah. I'm ready to roll. And Absolutely. I can't wait for the first national. Yeah, I mean, we notice you're still walking around with a limp. I mean, we can't yeah, even that's what I'm saying. I'm not even 100% yet. We so can't I'm even imagine. To, I'm trying to get back to 100%. I'm, I'm about 90%. I, I still get swollen here and there because, you know, it was a pretty hectic surgery. But, you know, I'm just I'm just grateful, you know, man, because it, it ain't easy to win these kind of tournaments. And, you know, hats off to everybody to play today. But, you know, it, it, it was just my day, I guess. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just blessed. Yeah. Big momentum boost heading towards the first pro event in April. How are you feeling heading towards that, knowing now you have an open singles title? Man, I'm, I'm feeling great, man. You know, I've been I'm working on my game a lot. And, you know, it's, it's been a tough struggle trying to get back. There's a lot of pressure. You know, I've been going down in the ring, people forgetting about me. They're asking, is Alex going to come back? Is he going to be the same? And, you know, it's... It's been a lot of pressure, but, you know, I think this was the win to show everybody that I'm still here. I can still compete. 
you know, I'm still one of the best, and I hope it continues. And you know, that's all I really got to say, man. I'm, you know, I just I'm just gonna do the best I can, and Absolutely. you know, hopefully it's good enough. For sure, man. Any anybody you want to shout out while you're here before we let you go? Man, I just want to shout out, uh, you know, it's my parents. You know, Alan. Alan can't make it out of these tournaments; they're too far. For but you know. He's uh, somebody I try to be better than, so he, he keeps me practicing. <laughs> also, to Derek Holland, man, I, I let him down last night. You know, we we had a long two days, and, you know, it got to the end, and I just you know, I just got really tired and fatigued, and I just couldn't get the bag to the hole. And, you know, congrats to Trey and Adam for the win. But, you know, I really wish we could have got a better, you know, more equal game because I feel like I feel like if we would have played earlier in the day, it would have been different. But, you know, okay. hats off to them, and they shot great. Um, I'm really liking me and Derek's partnership, and I think it's going to be great. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys can do. Congrats again. Alex Rawls, your Open Singles Champion here in Mesa. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's it. We're done. We're all done. It's been a long weekend. It's been a fun weekend. Started bright and early Thursday morning. Long day of coverage on Friday. Long day of coverage on Saturday. And it all culminates with open singles here. What a weekend, Corey. It was a great weekend. It was a beautiful weekend. We had beautiful shots, uh, beautiful games. Uh, it was awesome hanging out with everyone in chat. Uh, <laughs> I see TikTok, they want the Jake versus Corey game. No. You're not playing? I wanna, I wanna tear down and go get some food. Live on TikTok, you don't wanna play 10 rounds? Do you wanna play t on TikTok? I kinda do. We can play, uh, we'll, we can play on TikTok. All right, okay. we'll, We'll play on TikTok. Okay. So, so anybody on Facebook and YouTube, you want to watch Corey and I play, head over to TikTok. Yeah. We'll get that going. But for Facebook and YouTube, we are finito. We yep. are done. Appreciate all of you guys for watching. You mean the world to us. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. So, man. Exactly. Anything else you want to say? Uh, shout out to LogicCornhole.com and Brotherhood Cornhole for sponsoring the event this weekend. Shout out to the Arizona Athletic Grounds for having us here and providing us this beautiful venue. Shout out to everyone behind the scenes at the ACL, putting this on, Athena, Michael, Daniel, all the directors that helped out, everyone at, back at HQ and everybody in the ACL that helps put these events on. Uh, when's the next event? Two weeks. Two weeks, Tridelphia, West Virginia. I'll be there. So will she, right? You'll be there? Never mind. She won't be there. I'll be there. Check me out. <laughs> Come say hi. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stay live on TikTok because me and Jake are going to play a match. Go because, check out TikTok. Yeah, TikTok wanted us to. And Facebook and YouTube and ACL Cornhole TV. I'm Corey Russell. That's Jake Brennan. Athena Delgado, director of the millennia of the universe. We'll see you guys later. Everybody give a good wave to the camera. Bye, guys. Peace. I used to be dumb. I just make irrational decisions just because that's what I would do. Back looks like with the step out, he's going hard push. Gets I want to win a national. I want to cross that off my list.